Hello and welcome back to another episode of SDS. There's a revolving door of hosts at the moment. Hmm. Uh, it's your turn. Hosted this week. Sharky hosted the watch long earlier today. And yeah, now yeah. I'm back. Zach CB Ste does sports. Look at Zach Stefan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Zach Stefan. I know that ain't who I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, keep hosting. Your favorite host is back. Um, <laughs> this is a good weekend, man. It's my mm. fa favorite weekend. As you can tell, I'm smiling. Because of the results that's happened this weekend, mm. let me introduce the table. It looks familiar because there's the same table that I did the watch long. Obviously, Sharky couldn't be here today, so I've been filling in. So, Lee is next to me as vice captain. Jeez. Good to be back. It's been a busy week for me, man. I've been on, yeah. they've been hitting me up. That's the yes, that's the yes. I'm like, okay, I guess I can take some time out of my busy schedule. You know? <laughs> no, it's an honor to be here again. No, I remember you begging me, man. <laughs> Don't beg that. <laughs> Opposite me, I got Fawizzy here. Yo, 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 yo. I'm here, man. That's Happy to be finally here making again. some noise again, bro. We can hear you again. No, I'm here, man. Come yeah, on. I missed the sound of your voice, bro. I couldn't Nine minutes of a minute. football game, you got to concentrate, yeah. especially if a team's uh, losing. That's yeah. how it is, man. It gets like that. But I'm here, man. I'm happy to be here mm -hmm. alongside. Next to you, got Lee Ban. Come that. on, man. I like that, yeah, man. Yeah, so it's, been, it's been a... You're talking about a busy week. I've yeah, had... I've been Bro, they've been really good. Your pedigree. Your pedigree. Come, come on, yeah, yeah, right, so give me a break. Yeah. He came to Washington today. Just yeah, like, like, let's go. Uh, give me a break, man. That picture of him at the Olympics. Come on, man. You're missing me at this point. You're missing me. Sorry, man. Crazy. You're free this week, yeah? We've got like 10 watch songs, man. No, no, chill, chill, chill. But as always, yeah, if you want to check us out on audio, Spotify, iTunes, they're all in the description below. Uh, if you want to check us out on visuals, SDS is on YouTube. Let's start with the first game. It was the watch along game Manchester United, Liverpool 2 2 draw. Mm. Mm. Uh, so let's get into this game. Obviously, when you first. Uh, Fuiz is quite nervous when you came to Watch Bro, he doesn't uh, feel be, like Fuiz. It, it wasn't Fuiz. Oh, can, like can we be honest? Can we be honest? How can I not be nervous? Let's be real. Like, mm. No, no, no. The mask. No. It's the truth. Changing his tune yeah. a little bit. It's the truth. Yeah. 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 I was confident, but of course, I'm, the first thing I said to see before the game was even on, I said, I'm nervous. I'm not going to mm. lie to you. Because it's Old Trafford, it's Man United, it's your, the biggest derby in the world, bro. Like, That's true. United, their, whole, their season's more or less, they got nothing to focus on apart from the FA Cup. Mm. Them stopping Liverpool to do something is a massive achievement for them. As to now, for this season, do you get So... Yeah, bro. I'm not, you're gonna be nervous. You know what I mean? But well, we got we got to go to Old Trafford later this season. I'm, yeah, I'm nervous yeah, when yeah, I get yeah, signed because yeah. United are gonna try and rain on our parade as yeah, well. Bro, every game's a cup from now to the end of the season. Every game's a cup final. You have to mm. treat it like that. Do you know what I mean? So mm. yeah, obviously, man. you know, in the first half you went one nil up. You were dominating. They yeah, yeah. Had no oh, shots oh, for you. But I think they can they can um, side with me on this one. Like. Once we went one nil up, they thought if that's it, the game's done. Mm. They, they, they'll be happy mm. for to score one goal and for it to be done. Like once it was one nil up, I thought it was finished. But that's what happens in football. When you don't take your chances, you get thing. But we move, man. We just, we can't dwell on this result for too long. Just got to focus on the other games. Yeah, and then the second half, Bruno Fernandes took advantage of a mistake, and then Kobe mining, oh. man. Oh, that was oh, special. Yeah. That that was special was a goal, man, boy. From a kid, special man. kid. That's all you got to say. But I, I knew the, we'd done a good job from the way he was behaving on the stream. Yeah. Because I had never seen him behave like that ever. I never, ever. Elias, do you agree? I've, I've never seen you I've never like seen him behave. Calm. So the fact that he was so... F and you could see the frustration Who was in his face. singing. You know what like, I'm not yeah. going to lie. I'm, 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 he said, woohoo. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never <laughs> that's, that's not your vocabulary. Woohoo has never come out of your mouth. I've been in this position plenty of times, yeah? And like now I'm just exhausted, bro. I'm so tired of exhausted of having... Fighting with people... To, to win the Premier League. It's long, bro. I ain't got time for Just that. Just give me a free run at it. Just, yeah, that's it, man. You like, get it. You got, you got that was literally yeah, the one you won. But, but we didn't get to really celebrate that properly. Do you, do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, Everyone's at yard. There was no fans. Dalglish had to give the trophy. Like, it wasn't the same. <laughs> it's not the, it doesn't hit the same, mm, but yeah. it's still a, a trophy at the end of the day, but it's not the same. With these ones, mm. it's like we've got City on the back. Now Arsenal's here. It's just long, fam. I'm, mm. I'm, I'm tired, bro. <laughs> I'm tired. This is hard work. Yeah, <laughs> no, I get I'm, it. Because... I'm exhausted, bro. Yeah. Like, now I understand when Klopp said, I've got no energy, I'm tired. That's oh, why I'm, I'm like that, fam. You and, you and like, it's just long, bro. Yeah. I, just want, I don't want to rely on teams now. No, it's, you get, if we won today, we don't have to rely on anyone. Yeah. We just focus on our results. Boom, 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 boom. But now, just like now, I have to hate watch now. I hear it. I have to go back no, to because it's, it's funny because with Liverpool, it's they've been play, they again you play some incredible football over the last since especially during Klopp's era they played some of the best football we've seen mm. in the Premier League, and for them to not win as much or not to have too much to show for one Premier League and one Champions League, it it, it does feel frustrating as a for fan. Their legacy, you yeah. know, and that's where it kind of comes to Arsenal now as well, where it's like you're playing all these good football, you're probably playing the best football in the league in the country, maybe in Europe as well. But it's like, at the end of the day, it's the trophies that count. If you don't deliver those trophies, 
no one's gonna really remember, bro. <laughs> At the end of the day, when it comes to ten years from now, and they look back, they're gonna be like, "Oh, that Liverpool team was great, but they only won like one Premier League, one Champions mm. League." When they look back on the same period, they're gonna be like, "Oh, City was that team. Mm. They were the they ones won that won three in a row. Three in a row. They won a Champions League. And, they won a you know treble. I mean? yeah, yeah, and potentially it could be even be four in a row. So it's like at the end of the day, all the good football that you play." It's, it's nice to watch, but at the end of the day, you need to have silverware to go with that to show that it, 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 it counted to something. It has to count to something. And that's the point I was making a couple of weeks ago. But focus on the game. Me and Elias this week, we put our differences aside. I like that, man. We put our differences yeah, aside. Man. You know what? Well, we, yeah. had a, we had a conversation. Yeah, we said, yeah. you know what? We looked at the comments for a second. Shake hands. No, no, no. We didn't see the live stream. No, no, no. We didn't see the live stream. No, people did see the live stream and they're watching this No, no, they know. Listen, listen. The thing is, I didn't see what I'm saying. We have a Liverpool fan. Yeah. A Liverpool fan is making you two Man United fans. Yeah, you're in nothing. Shit, you know okay, it had to be don't, a Liverpool. It had to be me. It had to be. But when, that's true as well. When there's a common enemy in the room, yeah, no, you, you put your difference aside. Yeah, hundred percent. It's not gonna last. We won't buy guns. It might not. It might not. For one week against you guys again. Hundred percent. It's a love hate relationship. No, but it's good though. We put our differences aside. And that was like a therapy session. Honestly, it was. It was because at the end of the day, even though we do have different like different views, at the end of the day, we still want. We both want the same thing, which is the best thing for Manchester United. At the end of the day, and today was good that we did that there was a lot of positives from the game yeah. uh, I'll let Leah start with it because I think Leah's mm. might want to go and speak on yeah, the where game where do you want to start yeah. with the positives for this game I no mean, no wait 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 I think the first question you got to ask <laughs> both of them go on. is it still Ten Hag out or no could you do I know what you're trying to do no no, no, no that's, 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 that's not a conversation that's not a conversation we need to I'm trying to say is it still Ten Hag out for you man are you confident for Tuffle or hopeful nah I'm hopeful I think look I I think even Levan would tell you top four is extremely unlikely for United mm, this yeah. season. But if we focus just on this game, this is one of those games historically that form goes out the window. I mean, yeah. I even remember United at their best and Liverpool at their worst. They, when we went to Anfield, it was still a tough place for us to go. Yeah. When, it, when they came to us, you beat us 4-1 one year. So it's always a tough game, no matter True. where the, the, the two teams are in the league. And it's also a game for me where I don't want to say tactics and form go out the window, but it, it kind of does because... You can't really an overanalyze Man United in a game like this. Like, and you kind of you kind of saw it, especially in that second half. That was a game played off a lot of emotions. It was a game played off like mm. the crowd kind of being on your back. And and on, what mm. do they say? Sometimes the Strefford end sucks the ball into yeah. the goal. Like, yeah. <laughs> you look at both goals by United this year. It's not really like some crazy passages of play or whatever. It's just pure individual brilliance. But on a day like this, those are when those kind of moments happen. So mm. I don't want to be like too overcritical about the coach today or too overcritical about mm -hmm. the players. I think just like me and Lee Ben. This is where you kind of have to put everything to the side and look at the ma the magnitude of the game. Playing Liverpool in a season where they are going mm -hmm. for the league, I my expect my expectation, excuse me, for this game was purely I want everybody in the manager to be at it hundred percent and and stop them from Stand or at least halt, halt their yeah. their title charge. Yeah. I even said it before the game. I don't know if it's gonna be controversial or whatever, but if it meant Liverpool not winning the league. I'd lose the FA Cup final. Like, that's how much I don't want to see them win the mm -hmm. league. And that's an expectation that I would hope all of the United players, all of the United fans would have, bro. So the way they played mm -hmm. today, like, look, it's not perfect. There were definitely flaws in the game and the tactics and some individual performances, but I can't really fault the effort today. And I come away from it not, like, celebrating, but I'm content. I remember mm -hmm. you came up and said we should have won that game. No, I, I didn't say we should have. I said I'm, disappo I'm, yeah. I'm disappointed we didn't win. Yeah. It's not like I'm disappointed at the players, but I'm like, damn, mm -hmm. the opportunity was there. Mm -hmm. And I look at the penalty as well, too, like... Mm, is it really a penalty? Mm -hmm. I'm yeah, not too we, sure. We rewatched that. I, I, I'm motion. not too sure. And to be fair, Liverpool created a lot of chances in the first half. They could have probably ran away with it in the first half, but mm -hmm. the mo it was so close. We were actually that close to beating yeah. them. So I'm a little disappointed, but yeah. I'm content with the result. Yeah. I mean, yeah. obviously, Wan Bissaka gave away that penalty. In, yeah. You saw it. You saw the replay. What do you think? Was it a penalty? Um, uh, uh, the thing is, in real time, it looks like a penalty. Yeah, yeah it did. It, it looked like, it, it, like I'm immediately we're like, what is, he, what is he doing? But then when you look at it slow motion and with the replays, it does look like there wasn't really much contact there. And it does look like that Elliot was falling before. But I don't even want to focus on that too much because I feel like even though it is annoying, I think it's annoying that the fact that we didn't walk away with three, three points, especially with a decision like that. Kind of similar with Chelsea as well. I, I also felt like the penny against Dallas was a bit harsh as well. Mm. But these are all marginal things. I'm just happy, like Elias said, that at least in a game like that, especially when, when we know that Liverpool are chasing for the title, that you saw that the players put in a lot of effort, that they really put in 100% and trying their best to to at least dent or damp, uh, put a damp on their 
on their char- on their on their title charge. And and at the end of the day, they done the job. They yeah. done the job that they needed to. There was a lot of individual performances that we do need to praise. I feel like. I think you mentioned it on your on your uh, podcast. You said Casemiro definitely deserved praise, especially with how his season's been going. Yeah, he yeah. had a very very good, big Campbell performance. Yeah. Campbell, yeah. like Carrington strikes again. Yeah. No, like, I don't know if he's striking Carrington. Is he? I think he is. is. He? Well, he he played for the. I academy, heard the so. story about how like Martial had this like he brought over some French players like to like visit Old Trafford and stuff like yeah. that when he was like in 2016 or 2020 yeah. or something like that. And apparently, Campbell, who was 16 at the time, told Martial, "I'll be back." Yeah, like I'm gonna be playing here one day. Yeah, and I, I heard that's like the story. I'm not 100 sure. I'm not him. too sure, but he does. He did Even now, like Ken Wall is what 21. He's not that young, but like young, I don't know. Yeah. He's coming to the team. Yeah, and this is his second start of the season, and a team that's kind of like in and out. Mm-hmm. Like you can't really predict the back four, so it's very hard to kind of build a rhythm back there. Yeah, no real consistent center back partnership, and he's come in alongside McGuire, who I thought a great game, mm-hmm. and Ken Walla against a guy like Darwin Nunez who athletically mm. is a handful just in general he's chaotic yeah I thought I thought he kept him in check you, you see potential in Garnacho and Maynou do you think he's someone that can, can compete for the first team next season okay, it's early, I think that, it's yeah. too early to say I think what he, there are promising signs I think he's shown promising um displays in terms of his ability but it's I think it's still too early to say mm-hmm. um but the sign there's good signs yeah. there you can see there's a good player in there um going forward he could be an option again but he needs opportunities and he needs yeah. I feel like a stretch again for us to really assess him and see how well he can fit and I would say the last end of the yeah. season we don't really have anything to play for in the league I would give him opportunities yeah right? for sure for and sure. you threw him into like tough tough games was tough environment today. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, first game was West, first game, West, West, West Ham, Ham away West Ham yeah. away that was a tough game yeah, to yeah. but fair play to the yeah, and I thought yeah. today was really good, man. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah, yeah. You mentioned other performers, Casemiro, Cambola. Casemiro, Maguire. Yeah. Maguire, Maguire is someone I feel like de- yeah. deserves a lot of praise because I was one of his critics. I'll be re- be honest. I was like one of those people that was really pushing him for him to 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 be shown the door. But this season, uh, and I think Lies also mentioned it last last week, uh, last episode as well. Like, it's a, there's a lot of players that when they in situations like that where Maguire, where they they've been told. They're not wanted at the club, and they've been told that um, off your pop. That, yeah, <laughs> they they tend to either f- they you just stripped too, of the armband. Yeah, too, huh? it's stripped mm-hmm. of the armband as well. You have to remember, like you, you you get sort of two. There's two ways it can go. It can go one way where they become toxic, or they just sort of throw a strop and they don't want to put in effort. And you can see that they just all they care about is I need to get out of this place. Or you got the opposite where it's like they start putting in the work. You know, they go extra hard in training and they just wait for the opportunity. And for Maguire, he's had a lot of opportunities this season where it looked like he wasn't going to get those. And he stepped up. He yeah. really, really stepped up and he's taken on that responsibility. Even, though, even without the armband, you could still see that leadership on the pitch. Mm. And he's delivering. He's also delivering the performances with it as well. So hats off to him. I feel like he's really, redu- at least if, if his career doesn't, even though if he doesn't continue with Manchester United from next season going forward, at least now he will have suitors in the summer that will look at him and say, you know what? Yeah, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a good, level, he's a good level Premier League good defender. Level Premier League. He's an yeah, international. You know I mean? so, yeah. And I'll, I'll be real, the way he has been performing, I wouldn't mind him staying now. Like, that's the view I have of him. I wouldn't mind him staying. I do, maybe think, not he's, as a star. I do think he's too good to be, though, a bench player. That's the thing. Like, I think he could I, start for a lot of Premier League clubs. And, yeah. and I feel like he ha- he views himself... Uh, quite highly of himself yeah, yeah, so yeah. I feel like he wouldn't want to be a bench player as well so if yeah. he was to move then mm-hmm. at least this summer he would definitely have a lot more teams knocking on the door for him yeah definitely so, definitely. yeah um, going, going to Liverpool now title charge is taking a dab how confident are you now you said well, you need just 7 W's 7 W's yeah of course how confident are you in those 7 W's I'm confident with the seven, I'm always confident with my so you think if you win fair. all 7 of your games no 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 I don't say I don't, I'm not saying that if we win all 7 we won no we but win in your league, opinion do you think if you win all 7 opinion, the rest yeah, of if the we win all 7 because again we, it's, it's, we're back to relying on other teams yeah. doing something which they probably can do you know what I mean but um, yeah I think well, right now we just got to focus on our just don't focus on anyone else focus on our games win all our W's and yeah, see what happens at the end of the season yeah that's what we got to do because clearly today we lost the game by not taking our chances. First half, we should have finished off we the had game. 14 shots. We had bare right, shots yeah. to the point where I'm excited, thinking they don't stand a chance. Second half, that's it, it's finished. But whatever Klopp said to Robbo and Diaz on the, for the left-hand side, to the point, um, you, Onana had to play right back. <laughs> like, to, to the point where Onana had to come in and play right back. It, whatever it. happened there, whatever tactic he said, yeah, you man, go inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Robbo, you blast forward and... Yeah. And he put Anana there. Was, and Anana put Vaseline Anana in his glove as well. Yeah. Oh, come on, nah, man. We all know yeah. why what he was doing. But <laughs> yeah, we should have ended off the game first mm. half. We never. 
Um, a draw, but we just have to continue winning the rest of our other games. We've got three tr uh, tricky away games now in a row, so we got... Um, we yeah, got it's three, up, three away games in a row. Yeah, 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 yeah. And one of them is Everton, and you know Everton are yeah. not going to... Yeah, we've got Everton and for their lives. Two, yeah. two in London. So, yeah, man, we just got to... Mm. Right now, just focus on getting ev maximum points for every single game now. Yeah. Yeah. Between now to the end of the season, mm. just get maximum points in order for us to even have a conversation we should about just do winning a watch the league. For every single all the running <laughs> games, <laughs> Liverpool, Bro, City, I'm tired, Arsenal, man. man. I'm, I'm Cole, you can do it, man. Nah, man. Bring the whistle, man. Like, Bring like, everything. What you man. Said, well, I feel Pedri, bro. Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> <laughs> it is long, bro. Being in this position again, it's just like, oh, here we go again, type of thing. But nah, I hear it, man. I hear it's it long, bro. Look at my voice, fam. It's like I can't. I, I knew I knew you weren't yourself today, bro. Right? <laughs> no, no, I said it from the start. I could tell the same for Wizzy. I, I, I was confident. It felt, okay, I wasn't in the beginning. I was not confident. Mm. I, I said to Asib, "It's there's a derby, um, the occasion, the May United fans. They're gonna get behind. Like you get you, you had the twelfth man today, type of thing. But then, and also, you guys scored, but it was offside, straight yeah. off the bat, straight like, off. Like, and I'm thinking, in. here we go again. Yeah, yeah. But then again, with Liverpool, you concede. It doesn't mean nothing. Do you know what I mean? Because we come back and score again. Yeah, bro. Mm. First half, again, man, just dead off the game. I think what's a big thing for Liverpool, though, I mean, they're saying we starting learn. next week, mm. Allison should be back. Uh, Konate mm. should be back. Trent, back Trent should be back, Trent, I believe yeah. so. Jota. And I think there was one, okay. Jota was the yeah. other one. I think they're all expected to kind of come back. Konate didn't want to risk today. He was on the bench. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't think like, we should have risked. Yeah, I think that was a, 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 a right decision. decision. He made, that mistake. It was he made one harsh. He missed yeah. it. It's harsh. Man. I, mean, I look, can't really blame him on that. He's been superb for us this season. You know mm. I mean, again, the stats. What was it, it when Matter went down? He's I like think, a tough, uh, tough uh, luck. Uh, this was mm. his eleventh game where he hasn't. He still hasn't lost in a Liverpool jersey. So yeah, yeah I remember yeah, you said that. That's a crazy game, stat. So the thing is, all of them I have done even, well, right? I can't Bradley blame no one. Bradley's yeah, done yeah. well. But I can't. I can't. Yeah. I can't put anyone at fault. To be fair, though, he had he had Bruno in his back pocket up until before Bruno scored a goal. Yeah, Bruno was having a tough time. You guys were even saying it. He was having a tough time, but then that's the thing with Bruno. Bruno can have a he's an enigma. Yeah, he can have a horrible game, but he would just produce a moment of. Magic. And that's like a, a that's a world class that's, that's a world class player. That's what world class players do. Do you know what I mean? And that's what that's the problem. That's the frustrating part about Bruno is that you he sometimes his all round game is just on certain days just look absolutely awful. But then he just produces a moment of magic, and right after that he's got us back into the game. So it's such a he's a frustrating type of player to have in your team because I always believe like it's like Rashford has that as well. Rashford does have that as well, yeah. but Bruno more more it's more so evident. Like mm. it's like. You saw today how many misplaced passes he has more. He, he receives more passes. Yeah. Rashford is more yes. like a threat transition. Yeah. Bruno is at the heart of the midfield, yeah. like facts, mm. getting involved, and it's yeah. just like, like today is yeah. one of his worst. I, even though he scored an absolute, you say it's one of his yeah, worst, but I feel I, like I, he's I, had I, that I, performance yeah. so oh, many man. times. Yeah, for but I said today it was just more. Well, it was he, like Bruno in a, in a nutshell. Like yeah, that's something. Let's literally, yeah, literally yeah. sums up Bruno. He had a bad performance, but he pulled out a worldie, and that got us back into the game. Do you know what I mean? So it's like open goals as well. These it's from halfway. From halfway. Open goals as well, dude. Well, bro, that's, no, that's all we're no, no, Hold on, no, no. the ball coming. Mano's in, goal, yeah. absolutely. That was the best goal for me. That was no, better than class. that was better no, than Bruno. That's 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 fine. I, I I wouldn't disagree with that. But yeah. what I'm saying is, you have to remember the misplaced pass. Then to make this quick decision that I'm gonna shoot from the, from here. What was the yeah, hit? The, 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 yeah. the, the strike I, I, the way he did. The way he did it. The, the height of the ball. Facial the power. The everything. That. Like he got it on point. It's, it's not easy. Yeah, the ball yeah, it's not easy. It's, it's not easy. Cut across it. Because yeah. you even saw Danilo tried it in in the Spurs game, and yeah. it's not. It doesn't go off easy. Like yeah. it's not. That was in his heart. That was in his heart. It would have looked bad. Bad. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You have to get those ones right. That's what I'm saying. And that would just amplify. Bad game. But luckily he didn't listen to Leas because Leas is like, bro, what are you doing? No, but that's how frustrated I was in the game. I was like, he just does the stupidest. The whole sometimes. stadium was like, like shoo. Yeah. And this is probably the only one. But again, we got to see the whole angle, mm, innit? Yeah, we didn't yeah. end the I didn't either, know what yeah. he was doing. I was thinking, is this guy bugging out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. There's yeah. one player I want to talk about. It's like What do you think of his performance today? And but I remember you mentioned on the watchdog, you say you're you can see him next season doing something, but this season yeah, this he is, hasn't uh, but again, free. but okay, a lot of people read stats. And if you look at stats, people say when it comes to like energy and stuff like that, he he gives the most. Um, I haven't really seen. It. For me, McAllister just outshone everyone in 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 the midfield for mm. for Liverpool this season. Sure. So it's it's very hard to compare midfielders and stuff. And, and, and even stuff Endo's like. done such a magnificent job. And well. Endo for for like for a player, I didn't know about him. Never heard of him before. Mm -hmm. Didn't know he existed. And like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> he was in a, they were bottom. He spawned. <laughs> no, like, <laughs> well, I like, yeah. never knew he existed, fam. Like, what, apparently, he was Japanese uh, captain for the national team or something. 
Uh, I don't yeah, know if he was. Or something he along was, them yeah, lines. Yeah. Or but look at that, he left us. The club he was at, yeah, they were mm. bottom. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were bottom. They were, yeah, yeah. They were yeah. bottom in, in the in the German league, like in the Bundesliga. And look where they Come are on, bro. And you're telling me with his who were signing? <laughs> yeah. You're you're joking. This is not serious, bro. <laughs> yeah. Sixteen. We ain't got time for that, man. Because you know why? Yeah. I hear it. Because you're after Caicedo. Yeah, I'm hearing. Yeah, I'm and then and the Endo comes in, like guy I've never heard of. Yeah, but what about what about Sobotsai? What about him? That's what the conversation is about. Yeah, no, but that's why, I'm, that's why we're speaking about it. We're speaking about Sopo's life, but I'm comparing the midfielders oh, okay, okay, okay. to why yeah, yeah. I ha- like, <laughs> Again, my... I know, I know, I know, I know what you're, you're saying. Like, you're no, 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 I get, I yeah, get, yeah, no, I get, yeah. I get what you're saying in terms of like yeah. the expectation versus what Thank you, you what you got. Like, yeah. you didn't expect much from Endo, but he ended up being I, a very good signing. Over, sh- sh- over sh- oh, yeah. I'm shouning You got yeah. McAllister, who's been your all action midfielder that's been like amazing this season mm. I, mean, took, I think he had a bit of a slow start but <laughs> coming to now crunch time he's been really clear head head and shoulder you, you, you should just speak for him but <laughs> so, so has been like he's just been there like yeah. he hasn't I don't I think he's been really bad seen, yeah. I don't think he's been amazing he's just kind of been like and he had just floating yeah. 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 Just yeah. yeah I haven't really seen but he came in hot yeah he came yeah 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 I'm just laughing because he asked you the question and I have to answer him no 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 you know he's because he's just doing this I was going to do that but then he interrupted so now I lost my my chance I'll be honest you get but yeah, well. that's, that's what they, yeah. exactly. But yeah. that's that's yeah. That's but what then again, it's his first season. Right. Maybe he's still exactly. adjusting. Like, I maybe. think a lot of people put a lot of pressure on these players. And they like, do. You bro. have to live a first season, otherwise. No, that's, no, that's, that's social media for you. Exactly. Right. I can't like. He's, he's, he's yeah, for me, in my opinion, a player that will succeed at Liverpool. I look at some yeah. other players that they've signed, like the Dutch guys that they signed. I'm not too ke- in, in, in a Liverpool system. Mm-hmm. I'm not too keen on them. But I think Sobotsai has what it takes next season. Another year in the league, I think he'll be a little. Yeah, you're right. Because the guy that I'm worried about more so is probably Gakpo. Because or Gravenberch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. as well because I feel like Gakpo yeah. more so because he's been there 18 months and I still don't feel like he's got a real foot in there like he's a more he's now become sort of a bench player a player that comes off the bench and when they signed him he was actually meant to be somebody that can give them that extra firepower up front and he's kind of drifting into midfield now and even in midfield I don't feel like he's comfortable there the thing is so his best it's, position it's such a weird yeah left wing, but you yeah. Lewis Diaz there. exactly you're not getting ahead of him mm-hmm. yeah. I can't lie if Gak- it's not Diaz then it's going to be G- G- Gakpo Nunes. for me yeah. though should I even Jota sometimes as well yeah, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. I was going to say though Gakpo I agree with everything you're saying I don't think yeah. he should be the focus today. I would look yeah, yeah, at 100%. Salah to be honest today. Yeah. And I would look at Salah the last three games. Bro, there's no way. No, but I'll tell like, you why. Personally, like, yeah, you could tell me Sal- why. Salah's Sal- Sal- stamped. Salah's a certified player, like one of the Premier League greats. Mm. But I do feel like whenever Liverpool are kind of in these title races, whenever it comes to like the last stretch of games for them, he hasn't always been his reliable best. And I feel like even the last few games, I haven't really seen the most Salah that we saw before his injury kind of happened. Yeah. I thought against Brighton, he I wasn't brilliant until he kind of moved into inside and then Connor Bradley went wider against Sheffield, got hooked after yeah, 60 minutes. And I even agree. today, mm-hmm. gets his penalty. I give him massive credit because taking a penalty in crunch time like that, Pressure. it's not easy. You have yeah. to you have yeah. to be, like we were doing namaste basically. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I did think his performance throughout the game had, wasn't like what we were attributing to like a peak Mohamed Salah. No, mm-hmm. 100%. And majority of Salah's performances that, that obviously he scored a hat-trick in Old Trafford when we beat you 5-0. Mm. The majority of like, United kill uh, 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 when he kills you guys, yeah. it's it's been at Anfield. Like I always said, Old Trafford is hard. I don't know if it's for hard for any team, but when we play you guys, I always see him like it's a tricky place to go to. Again, mm. it's the derby and... Yeah, like, Sal- it, Salah scored six Premier League goals at Old Trafford, the most of any visiting player in the competition uh, competition yeah, history. That is. Overtook mm. Steven Gerrard. No, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, he's so, a killer, like, man. He's a killer. I can man. never, I can never, I can't. I hear it. I, I can't blame it. this guy. But like, can you, you trust him I mean? for this uh, title running? A hundred percent. He has to be at his best. A hundred percent. I think I the trust... point Elias is making is that he has to be, yeah, like he said, at his best. Because I feel like they. I think he's getting the goals and he's always getting onto the score sheet, but it's the more so the concerning thing is the performances. I feel like in these type of uh, games that's now coming into the last seven games, crunch time, you need your best players to be performing, not just getting the goals and assists because you can get the goal and assist and your team will still lose. You need to really be putting mm. in the performances. And I think that's the concern with Salah at the moment is that he, yes, he's getting the goal and assist here and there, but his performances in general hasn't been as 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 of the most Salah that we know. Yeah. And if they want to win this title, they're going to need him to step up a little bit. Like today, he could have scored two or yeah. three in the first yeah, half. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, 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 he had good chances. You know why this is like, it's, 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 it, I hear you guys, I agree with you guys, but it's a bit of a catch-22. It's like throughout the whole, to be where we are, fighting for this league and like throughout the whole season, yeah. we haven't had our strongest 11 like every yeah, single tough. time. Yeah, that's true. Someone's well, yeah. getting injured yeah, and they're like a very important mm-hmm. uh, member of the team mm-hmm. and they always get injured. So like, for them to be coming, everyone coming in in one go now, seven games, and people say it might be too late. Yeah. But then again, this is, might be the crunch time where we actually do, because again, Arsenal, this is a new experience for them. Mm-hmm. They might have been here last season, 
But like, even it's new for us as well, actually, to be fair, with three teams mm. involved, it's uh, it's pressure and there's going to be a lot of tired legs. Yeah. But we haven't had a, a, a full, a fully fit squad for a very long, I can't remember yeah. the last time we did, yeah. to be fair. And now you've got players coming back. Yeah, yeah we've got players for. coming back. So I can't really blame Salah or anyone, to be fair. Like, I'm Because when you have your best team, then you'll yeah, see the best yeah. of Salah. It's, it's, That's it's, what it's obviously, saying. it's yeah. not nice to draw. Um, yeah. Obviously, you guys are happy over the moon. I would be as well if I was in your you man's position. To mm. be honest with you, I'll be gassed. I'll be boom, boom, boom. I'll probably be worse than how you guys were in the watch along. I'll be going Blood crazy. Whistles. Yeah, I'll be like what two two. Yeah. You'd have thought I won the league. Yeah. 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 You'd have thought I won the league. Yeah, but, um, that's fair. That's why I can't really be too, too, too upset. I'm obviously I'm upset, but like I'm not like what the fuck off oh, f- bun this club. No, 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 not like that. But we just have to. Continue it's true. Yeah, seven it's games. True. You just got to continue. Just yeah. f- don't focus on City. Don't focus on Arsenal. Mm. Win the next seven games, and we'll be in a good place. Do you I know? Think, what yeah. I think that's the best thing to do. But I, I think could yeah. we mention quickly? Yeah, and I, need, I know I want Lias to mention as well. Kobe Main, <sighs> our star boy, mm. our star boy. Chef's kiss. This why, I mean, oh. this, this why I, I probably now I, oh. I look at it wrong. Wow. They probably looked at it right. You probably have to bully people, mm. <laughs> and then you mm. probably get the best out of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I wasn't mean because they bully. We were bullying. No one's bullying. Bully. 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 You're gonna. Then th- when I put it, Liban said. Liban tapped me and said, "He's gonna thank me later for this." Yeah. And <laughs> oh, tough love. Tough love. Well, <laughs> Come on, like, it's, it's, yeah. Go ahead. No, 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 I was gonna stop. say, Kobe. For me, I was critical of him in the first half because look, I have, I have. It was fair though. I have, I have very high expectations for Kobe Menu, and it's because of how much I hype him. Everyone says I overhype Kobe Menu, but I genuinely believe. He is that special of a player. So yeah. when I don't think he's playing at his best, I'm gonna say it. I, if it was a different 18 year old like Willie Kambala, if he played poor today, I'd let him off it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It, he's being thrown in this. Maybe he doesn't even belong at the level. We don't know. Yeah. But Kobe Manu, I believe, belongs at this level. So and you I have high expectations, massively high yeah, expectations because exactly. I know yeah. what he's capable of. And I think the mm-hmm. first half was one of his poorer halves in a United. I, yeah. I think the game was really passing him by. I think on the ball he wasn't as decisive as he usually mm-hmm. is. And I think also Liverpool probably recognized him out of Bruno and Casemiro as the guy that. Can kind of slow the game down and like mm-hmm. get the ball out of their out of possession from Liverpool and kind of press them extra hard when he got on it. So I do think the first half he did struggle. Like the game was passing him by at times. And I didn't watch the game of commentary, but I was <laughs> hearing Gary Neville as well too was apparently very critical of it as well. But I think mm-hmm. the second half, he kind of I don't know whether it was Ten Hag who told him or he just kind of like woke up himself, but he started getting a lot more responsibility. And even the goal that he scored, forget about the goal. It's him that's driving down the pitch, carrying it, and kind of saying, all right, I got you guys. You guys can come on my back, and I'll bring the team forward. Mm. And then the finish is just kind of the chef's kiss. It's a moment of world-class brilliance from an 18-year-old. You likened it to Makeda. It felt like it it was a return. It's exactly the same. It's It's the same maneuver. It's like back to goal. The ball, he's made, he's had the touch, and he's basically wrapped his ball around the top. Yeah, it's the exact same goal. Yeah. It's, it's just obviously goal. the circumstances are completely different because yeah, yeah. back then we were fighting yeah, for the time. We were fighting for the time. Aston Villa yeah. free yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what it was, but yeah. it's the exact same goal. The technique, the technique, the turn. Even the way the camera, the camera. It's the same goal. It's the same goal. And they're both teenagers. 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 They're both Look, man, this this year we've been really bad, but he's been one of those bright sparks. And I, I can't wait to see if United ever gets serious, what kind of team we can surround a, around him mm-hmm. because he's going to be the heart of this team. No, sure. yeah, it, it's definitely a litmus test going up against a Liverpool press. And obviously first half he did struggle against yeah. it, but like you said, second half grew into the game and then he just, he made like, and it would, it would have been the winning goal. Yeah. But unfortunately, he's you know, Wamba Saka yeah. gave away a penalty. Try to kill him. Two. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, try to take a body that day. Yeah. Yeah. But, but we'll take that. Like, at the end of the day, um, so it's kind of off, but it's yeah, like it. me, me and Amelia said before the game, if you give us a draw now, we'll take it. Mm-hmm. Of course, we got the draw, but it does feel a bit annoying just for the fact that we there was an opportunity to take away. Exactly, points. exactly. And, and unfortunately, because of the penalty, it didn't happen. And but before the game, you were looking at it like, oh, I'm just, I want to get away with. A we point. just want to get, we just want to get through this. Point. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. just want to get through this. That's exactly, what it is. Exactly. Without, without any, it was more about damage control. It's true. That's what it was. Yeah. We came into this thinking, even if we lose, please let's not make it embarrassing. You and know, it must what be mean? annoying for you. Five matches, Brentford one up. And then they and went 1-1. One, one, one. Chelsea 3-2 up, 4-3. And lost. then today, it's two, like, one that's football. That's football. But then he yeah. made a good point. Uh, go, on, go on, you made a very good point about what, like, at the end of the day, my United allowed that to be the case, you know, in terms of these marginal. Go on, uh, you say, because you, no, you said it perfect. When it comes to the way United plays, yeah. it leaves a lot of room for other teams to kind of take advantage of situations. Like, I always say at the top level of sport, Arsenal and City for me are the biggest example of it. Mm. They close down the margins of other teams having success. Like they make it basically an efficiency game, a stats game. And it's like, okay, every shot you take, we're going to limit how efficient of a a shot you can get. So it gets to the point where like, it almost feels like one team is playing because the other team, they can't breathe. 
With United, there's too much of like, they leave it to chance in terms of some situations with how open they play, the space between the midfield and the fence. The first half, basically Liverpool could play a ball over the top and Darwin Nunes mm. is through on goal. Yeah. Yeah. Like that, that's, a, that's an issue and it, it leaves to the point, Man. no matter how good of a team you play, United could play their best game ever. The, the, the way they're so defensive or the way they're so open in defense, it could not even matter. So mm. that's the issue. Yeah. I wanted to be critical of one player in United yeah. actually, just one. And yeah. it's not even to say I don't rate this kid or I don't think he can have a future. But one player the last three or four games that I can't stop noticing oh, yeah. and I'm looking for more from him is Hoyland. And I yeah. understand Rasmus Hoyland is isolated up front. I think it's a tough job for a kid of his age mm -hmm. to lead the line for a United team that doesn't create many chances. He's isolated. It's a tough job. But I think also, at the same time, I think he can be doing a bit yeah. more. I yeah, think the I last agree. three games, it's almost been like United's playing with 10 men. Because I think at times... He's almost, he's trying a little too hard. Like yeah. he's trying to chase down every ball. Yeah. And every time the ball comes into him, he's trying to wrestle with defenders yeah. twice his size. And it just ends up tiring him yeah, out. Exactly. And I think yeah. also mentally, like there was a chance today where Casemiro, the ball goes to him off a, a free kick. Casemiro heads it across goal and there's no one at the back post. And that's yeah. not to say, oh, Hoyland, you have to be there. But top center forwards, their instincts often end up, you always say like, oh, how is he always in the right position? Mm -hmm. With Hoyland, and I think he's still young and he can develop in this role, mm -hmm. but he's almost never in the right position mm -hmm. as a striker. Yeah. And the goals he's scoring too, they're tough goals. They're not like the Haaland goals where he's tapping them in. Mm -hmm. I get the service. You're only as good as your service at times. But mm -hmm. I do think that he can be doing a little more. Like yeah. maybe dropping deep a little, get more touches, drift wide, get more involved into the mm -hmm. game instead of always, like he's trying to, to wrestle with Van Dyke. Yeah. You're doomed, bro. You're yeah, never going yeah, to beat Van Dyke yeah. uh, back to goal. It's yeah. impossible. So I, yeah. I do think this has been a tough year for him. And I'm, yeah. I'm sure next year he's going to grow into his body more yeah, and yeah, be easier. Yeah, yeah. But I, I think, think he just needs to make years. smarter decisions. I think, I think he needs to be very much more uh, self-aware in terms of where he is on the pitch and when to do what. I feel like he's right. He's, engaged, he's getting involved in in in, in, in Battles he doesn't need to get involved in. Mm. I feel like he's wasting his energy running around trying to press when there's no need to press. I saw him trying to press. Um, there was that one point where they, it was just him by himself and he's running across the whole field trying to press every time the ball gets. You yeah. don't need to be doing You're yeah, just yeah. going to exhaust yourself. Yeah. And, when, and, and, and you energy. see it because when the ball comes into him, he's so tired that he can't even get his foot around the ball. So... There was I, even a point too. Rashford yeah. was going down the left, going down the left. He got all the way to the touchline, right? Yeah. And I think he tried cutting it back and it went out for a corner or whatever. Yeah. But he got mad at Hoyland because he saw Hoyland. Instead of trying to make runs in the box or whatever, yeah. Hoyland is running to the near post, but like almost too Rashford. Like he's too eager yeah, for the yeah, ball. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's yeah, frustration. That, yeah. I feel like that's a mixture of 100%. frustration. hundred percent. When you don't touch the ball yeah, first yeah, one, yeah, you yeah. want to be involved. You exactly. That free kick that came in and Casemiro headed it across, yeah, like, across goal. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, that's the one. Yeah, that's, that's the one. Yeah, I think, yeah. So I get it. It's a tough job. I think he'll get better. But right now, I think you're really seeing like he's not ready. Do you think he's 100% fit as well? I don't know. I can't. I don't know. Yeah, because I feel like since he's come back from injury, I don't feel like he's been... Because remember, he was on that crazy run of form. He obviously got injured. Yeah. And then I just feel like since he's been back, I just don't feel that same sort of... I don't know. What, I don't know. Maybe I'm making excuses for him, but I just feel like he hasn't really been the same. Because he was on a good stretch. Of it was yeah. Great stretch. He was yeah, on a great yeah. stretch. He scored six and six. I think it's a record. Yeah. But even the goals yeah. he was scoring, yeah. they were like incredible goals yeah. from an individual point of view. It's not like well-worked goals where he's just kind of tapping it in. Yeah. Like the goal against, what was it? West Ham, where he yeah. like goes left, goes right, goes yeah. left, and then bangs it. And then there was one against Luton as well, too. Yeah. Where, like they're not really like goals you want to have as a striker in terms of like sustainability. Yeah. So again, and here's another thing too, right? To give to his credit. Yeah. It's the same thing of Garnacho. These kids are 19 and 20. This yeah. is where you'd ideally want an elder statesman as a striker so that when Hoyland is going through these runs, you can bring on an older guy and, and he'll play. Hoyland has to play every game, no matter mm. whether he plays good or bad. Mm. Yeah. That's tough. It's, it's true. tough. It's, it's true. true man. That's play, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Playing every game. Yeah. But listen, it was a 2-2 draw in the end. Uh, Liverpool dropped down to a second league. There's a few stats from the game. Liverpool failed to win a Premier League game in which they had led for the first time since October 2023 against Brighton. Wow. Uh, ending their 16-game winning run. So once again, United uh, stopping one of your one of your charges, the, the FA Cup and now the Damn, Premier League. that was League. a loud-ass slap, bro. <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of surface area with that one. Yo, yeah. that was... <laughs> See, the ACC dropped that. I didn't say that. A lot of surface area. Didn't Leah said that. Why did he say surface area? I wouldn't have that person. Now, why did he say surface yeah, yeah, yeah. area? Imagine, imagine yeah. a sheep getting a headache. <laughs> 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 that is a long day. Uh, whole body the feels it. It's a whole body the field thing. Magnitude of seven point eight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a service area. Uh, <laughs> we got also another stat. Man United faced twenty eight yeah. shots against Liverpool, their most on record. Twenty eight. Yeah. In the so Premier we will consider thirty one, yeah. twenty nine, yeah. and twenty eight. Yeah. Jesus. Home Christ, and away, man. they have faced sixty two shots in their last two league meetings with Liverpool this season. Fight for Anfield, twenty eight or Trafford, and they didn't win the game. See. But obviously, it's still, it's still, <laughs> it's still. But it's like again, we ran. <laughs> <laughs> the positive is 
they haven't beaten us this season. We have. That's true. You know, Ten Hag has a winning record against the. Uh, yeah, it does. He does. Let him keep his records, fam. Exactly, I don't man. care about mm-hmm. him, fam. He's you, the one. He's he's you, you, one of you two hate him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> two wrongs. Two, yeah, yeah. <laughs> two wrongs don't make right. right fa- fantastic. So who do you think is right? I don't know. You tell me. Do you think you're right? Nah, <laughs> well, we both think. Do you think you're right? right? Uh, we both think we're right, though. No, but exactly. Two yeah. rights can't make a can't make another right. So one has what? to be wrong. Oh, no, 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 no. So he changed. He changed Someone the whole. Has to be wrong. He changed the whole saying. You're right. You're you know, right. You, I, he, it I, can't. You missed the whole saying. That's true. That's true. You missed one. No, no, deep it. Two rights can't be right. Someone has to be wrong, fam. So where's Abs in the situation? He's right. Where is he now? Yeah, Abs. Where is he? He's repentant. He's repentant. He's a bug out, fam. He's a bug out. He argues with himself anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how yeah, we, yeah. me and Lisa go back yeah, and forth? Yeah, yeah. He's arguing with himself. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, talks he wants to be a runner, but yeah, arguing with himself. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah, yeah. saying, yeah. you know, he, let me, he goes Napa, one up. Let's move on to the analysis. Uh, <laughs> no bridges, no, 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 no. <laughs> just him on a flat. <laughs> yeah. He just goes to Napa, I remember by himself. By himself, fam. I talked about football by himself in the room, in the hotel room. Genuinely, yeah. He's like a guy from TikTok. The way Jorginho plays in the six, that's him, man. His application is just a bit exquisite. He just walks on the beach and starts talking to strangers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The tactical renounce of Kobe Mainu in the six. On the beach, I was saying about Kobe Mainu. I always say, <laughs> oh, I always say, man. Thinks I <laughs> yeah. uh, all right, cool. Let's get some analysis from Alex Tech. He's a Liverpool fan. He said, probably don't need anything, anything from me this week as we all saw it, but knew at half time we weren't winning that game. You, really? ca- you cannot be that wasteful and expect to win. I just watched the exact same 90 as in the FA Cup. What exactly did we learn from that game? Nothing. Manchester United are always a threat with what they possess going forward. And at home, you can't give them an inch or you'll be punished, let alone sever it up on the plate for them. I knew at halftime I'd be talking about missed chances coming back to hurt us. And here we are. I know it's not the end of the world, but it's no longer in our hands. And it's all our fo- own fault, all our own doing. We will not and should not win this league if we don't start being more clinical and ruthless. This time we need to learn the lesson. Maybe chasing again will benefit us, hopeful, but seeing Arsenal having games against Madrid and Bayern respectively is huge for our hopes. Mm-hmm. Let's move on to the next game. Uh, top of the table. Thanks to you guys. I appreciate it. Brighton losing 3-0 at home against Arsenal. Oh, it's a great day, man. It's a great day to be an Arsenal fan. Listen, man. Mm. 3-0. What can I say? It's Brighton really... haven't lost at the Amex since August. Doesn't mm-hmm. matter. Though. And then we've come and we've popped because... three against them. And I just want to uh, say, yeah, what? Like, no, no, well done. You got a three points. Thank you. It's, it's needed. I appreciate it. But Trossard, very, yes. very disrespectful. It, ben White was disrespectful. You don't need to score <laughs> and do this. No, but they, the way they treated him, I very, hear it. Very, very. The way they treated him, I hear it though. Exactly. Who, what, they were booing they, him, they, fam. They, they pushed him out of the club, bro. Fam, he said that he went. He did did they push him out of the club, or was there like kind of a. D- there was a beef between him and De Zerbi. Yeah. And then he didn't show up to training. And, and and stuff. Yeah, and then they. They sent him to Arsenal, bro. It's but like they, getting, they, but getting it, kicked out of like. No, but they put him They put him on the transfer market. They said, yeah, we, don't, right, we don't want yeah, you. But they freed him, bro. They sent him to Arsenal. Yeah. He's challenging for the league. Yeah, no, no. You should be grateful. No, no, no. No, no, no. Like they booted him. It was good now. Yeah. But I'm saying at the time, obviously, he was ostracized in terms of like. They were like, yo, you gotta, yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, Wasn't that him? Oh, no, nah, you're right, actually. It was a beef between him. It was him and the Zerbi, yeah. You know what it was? No, I swear, though, it's because he kind of got replaced by Matoma. Yeah. Yeah, I swear, like, he had kind of was. gone down the pecking no, order. No, he was unhappy yeah, yeah, but the thing is, prior to even Matoma's form, he was actually their top scorer. He, like, he was, I remember he scored a hat trick and for no, on the Zerbi's debut. Yeah, but I don't, I don't think, I think the Zerbi didn't, I, if I remember correctly, I might be wrong, I thought Trossard put, a transfer request in himself. He put in a he transfer did. request, but that was after uh, uh, Zerbi had already said that this, uh, like publicly said. It was a public press. spat. Yeah, 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 it was yeah. like a public uh, spat. Uh, he said to him that you, he cannot get into my team until he changes his certain way. So it was already like a, yeah, yeah. a public back and forth. And then I think Brighton was like, you're more than welcome to leave. And and he he I'm, joking, he did the I'm joking about that, man. He, Let him yeah. do his thing. He did the Bellingham yeah. celebration on them as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, it. Do your yeah, thing, exactly. bro. So like, you get, but you, I think in terms of the performance, the Arsenal played you look exceptional at, football, yeah, man. I think, it, well, again, it was almost like another faultless performance. They could have even scored early on with the Gabriel header. It's just... Yeah, two minutes in. Two yeah, minutes yeah. in. They could have gone easily. And I think that's that kind of epitomizes what Arsenal have been this season. Just ruthless. And I think he said a very good like they, uh, thing he said where in terms of when it comes they go up against opposition they really close down they choke them out they cho- like, yeah, basically yeah. bro and it's that nowadays teams don't when they go play against Arsenal they don't even stand a chance mm-hmm. you know they don't even create em- enough it, it chances it feels like how City I mean City a little less so now but like yeah. City at their best yeah. it felt like that in terms of it almost feels like one team is playing like I used to hate watching City because I'm like, bro, it's so boring. You just know yeah. City are going to kill you death by a thousand passes. They're going to create so many chances. You and might get lucky on the break with them once. Yeah. Which with this Arsenal team, they're so good defensively, they don't even give you that chance. chance. Yeah, and yeah. it's just going to end up being two or three. I know it depends how many chances they take. So Arsenal, man, they... 
I wanted to ask you guys this. Mm-hmm. If Arsenal don't win the league this season, yeah. is it like the first time ever, like for sure, that the best team in the league doesn't win the league? Because I think this year, statistically, mm-hmm. goals for top, goals against, I mm-hmm. guess bottom, but like they've conceded the least goals yeah, yeah. of the whole league. Defensively, they are, they're first in every single metric. Yeah. I think this, they, they basically went unbeated against first and second. Yeah. For me, they are objectively the best team in the league, um, at least at the moment. Can I ever remember? I uh, think Liverpool, uh, 2013 14. When you guys out with Sturge and Suarez. Yeah, but even yeah, defensively, think, though, you guys were leaky. I like, think they were the best team, but then they just collapsed in the last few games of the season. Mm. And I think they, uh, that's the only season I can remember off the top of my head where they were, for me, the best team in the league and they choked. Yeah, they literally choked right at the end, and then Pellegrini's Man City end up winning. Yeah, yeah, which yeah, I thought yeah. that weren't really, they weren't really yeah. the best. Yeah, team they kind of came out of nowhere. Chelsea yeah. even they did the double against Arsenal mm. or against Liverpool and um. Man City, yeah, and I think even against Arsenal, I think they d- the double against you guys yeah. too, and then they lost like Sunderland and Villa, yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is like one where I, every time I'm watching Arsenal right now, even like opposition mm. managers, I think Deserby said it, mm. I think Rob Edwards said it, they're saying mm. this is the best team in the league, yeah, yeah, yeah. we have no answer to them, yeah. Yeah. and they still might not win the league, yeah, mental, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's like, it happens. It's, that's what's happened, to it happens, yeah. 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 No, because like I say that because normally we say the yeah. league don't lie, the table don't lie, yeah. Mm. It might, this might, year. might, it might, that's what happened, that season we lost one game the whole season, yeah. To Man City, and yeah. it was a, the only it was fine margin. Yeah, yeah, John Stones, yeah, yeah. 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 cleared. But off at the least line, that man. team, City, was elite as well. That was, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it was. It goes back to that point. Like you, at the end of the day, as much football as you want to play, you, you need the trophies. Points, yeah. Yeah, you need yeah, the trophies. Yeah, the, trophies. Yeah, the trophies have to go with it because at the end of the day, people. That's all people will look back on in history. History is written by the people. No, like just like now, for example, Liverpool that season was so incredible. We don't remember that because whenever yeah. we look back on it, we just say, "Oh, Messi won the league that yeah, year." Yeah. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, so yeah it's fifty like, years time, everyone yeah, look at that yeah. season and be like, "Oh, yeah, one thing I'll say about Arsenal though." Yeah. Is it's scary because even if they don't win it this year, bro, their team is so coming. young it's and coming. so good, it's and they're only going to improve. Yeah. yeah, this is what it's, it's inevitable. It's inevitable. It's inevitable. Bro. Like, I, yeah, I agree, yeah. but if we could delay it for another year, I'll oh, be happy. Of man. course, I'll this, be this is how I felt with Liverpool. Like inevitability, they didn't win it that one season, ninety-seven points, and then you're like, uh, it's coming. It's yeah, coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, no, it didn't feel like that because I remember the next year they didn't make a single signing. Yeah, in City, I think signed. I can't remember who they signed, but I was actually thinking, oh, no signings from Liverpool. City are strengthening. It's only going to end up one way. It's going to be City again. Yeah, yeah. And they just like went crazy. The year I thought, okay, Liverpool are just going to keep winning over and over. League. We won the league with no signings. That's what I'm saying. So yeah, that's, that's why at, the beginning, that, oh, at yeah, the beginning yeah. of that season, I didn't think you'd win the league. Because yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. oh, they, they didn't sign anyone. Yeah. How yeah. are they going to expect to win it? The year I thought Liverpool was going to go crazy was the year after that, when you won the league and then mm. signed Thiago and Jota. Mm. Yeah. That's when yeah, I yeah, thought, yeah, that hey, was a serious I, I thought uh, it's over. Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then Dyke went down. Let's go back to the game. Yeah, back to the game. I just want to say, coming from a professional diver, Jesus, what a dive. You think so? Wow. Nah, I don't think that's you reckon? Wow. Wow. Why are you clapping wow. as well? What's going on? I'm a diver, bro. I'm a diver. I thought he fell. I'm a diver. I think that... So you want to talk about your diver? You want to talk about your diver today? It's not a bad game now. We're not a bad game. We're not a Arsenal game. I don't care. It's fine. I don't care. I don't care. They got three points. You get it. But Jesus... Did you think Jesus dived? Um, Even I, I think he was theatrical the way he went down, but I think there was definitely contact. I think he yeah. was hundred percent a foul. There was more contact opinion. than that. Yeah. Than the, well, it was, was a bit theatrical. Yeah. Like, no, 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 of course he was sold it. Yeah, he sold it, he but it was definitely. But you know what? It's one of those ones. They're talking about he touches the ball. Mm. But he almost touches the ball by luck. Yeah. Like, Jesus but, was going to get by him. Yeah, And yeah, he, yeah. like, just swung his leg. Like, okay, he happened to make contact. But that's not like he didn't win the ball. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't intentional. He had like, a horror game, though. Who? Uh, Jesus. No, no, or no. Tariq Lamptey. Tariq Lamptey. Yeah, Lamptey. yeah. In the begin- before the yeah, penny. Yeah. Yeah. Before the penny, mm. he was all over the gaff, man. I feel like a lot of brighter places were having a horror all, game. But again, that's that's having a weird season. If Insensio scored that chance. We had Havertz crossing it in. Jesus was if getting it. Insensio scored that. In- yeah. Yeah. Insensio. Yeah. yeah. If he scored that, Insensio, I don't know if you remember it. I don't know yeah. when they signed him. Yeah, yeah. Do you, do you remember? Asensio's brother. Yeah. 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 I think, I think he just, Raya, he just made it look a bit more. TV. He just made it yeah, for yeah, yeah. It was like a. Yeah. It was like, oh, no, that's for the cameras. Oh, no, no, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, it was. It was. It was a pretty. Uh, <laughs> it was a pretty. You got that look. That's like now, a, you know, De Gea is the king of those, by yeah, the way. Oh, De Gea yeah. will save something with his opposite. Oh, oh, yeah, he does. He, he both did the movement at the same time. It's, yeah, it's signature it's De Gea. Me. Signature De Gea, you know. Over the head. Bro, you could have just done this, yeah? I sw
Yo, you watch these games. He really got nothing to do, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right has the. I don't want to say the easiest. He, he might have shots. the easiest job as a goalkeeper in the league right now. You said about Edison. Yeah, yeah, yeah bro. This guy got nothing to do. He bro. might have to make one save yeah, a game. Yeah, yeah, bro. And bro, they had two like, shots on target. That and yeah. CISO won. And yeah. the second one was in CISO, but it just bubbled to him. And yeah, he didn't pick it up. Yeah. I was yeah. a shot on target. I was yeah. like, yeah, Ryan's really got nothing to do. I mean, he helps that in terms of like he helps them keep the ball so the other team can't even have it. Yeah. But in terms of shot stopping, he doesn't really have He's on a beach over there. I know it's becoming a weekly thing, yeah, because we've been talking about this person. Week in, week out, but habits. Oi, that movement for the second Wait, what goal. Do you, what do you want to say? <laughs> nah, because I'm saying, no, I'm saying like, the fact that like he's becoming a weekly theme now where we, oh, every yeah, yeah. podcast we're having to talk about his brilliance every single week. Have a time, we Because again, I was one of those people that when he got signed in the summer, I was critical. I was like, what is this signing? Mm. I was like, what's good? And then I remember that pre-season video of him doing the little US challenge. I said, yeah, <laughs> uh, this guy is a bum. <laughs> I'm like, what's, what's Arsenal even thinking? But... He's grown to the season because even I remember the first couple of months he was getting. Were, were you on the side though when we signed him and we were playing him in the LCM? You're yeah. like, no, I just don't see him. As no, I knew that. That was me. Yeah. I yeah. always yeah. said he's a striker. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. 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 I think he can do good things up front. Yeah. But and I maintain this that midfield role for me ain't it? It ain't. ain't yeah. yeah. And we, I think Arteta has started to realize. We gotta go back into someone. Yeah. Find mm. an LCM. That's what it is. Yeah. yeah. No, no, but, that movement for the same goal. I don't know what Jorginho is doing out there. Yeah. F f somehow. But even Jorginho again, credit to Arteta. He's. He brought in Jorginho, he's brought in Havertz, two guys who people w were saying ain't really that, or were getting criticized as, let's say, at Chelsea, mm. have come into this Arsenal team. Again, of course, better players, better system, better manager. But again, he's just managed to get the best out of them. And now they, from what looks like a, a questionable signing for both, have now come out looking incredible. Yeah, and good and deals. I'm good deals. I mean, and Chuck, you wanted me to mention this, yeah. but the movement from Havertz for the goal. Yeah. It's actually a thing of beauty. I can't it lie. Is, In terms of like, it those are always the most satisfying to see where mm. they do like the little hesitation to then yeah. go inside, beat your man, leave. Yeah. That's top center forward yeah, play 100%. right there. You know what I'm yeah, excited yeah. about? Seeing how Arteta can handle this pressure now. Mm. Like you, you guys think the pressure's top. on him because now 100%. he's chasing whoever's whoever's um, he's chasing against the city and Liverpool. Yeah. No, he's not chasing, but he's leading. He's not chasing. Yeah, yeah. He's leading. Now he's leading. Yeah, oh now yeah, he's yeah, leading. Yeah. That's that's why I'm saying I want to see how he can handle this one because now it's not just yeah. Man City. It's Man City and, and Liverpool. Liverpool. Yeah. yeah. But so one thing see. I will say about that team is though, in terms of their mentality, it's it's a different team from last season. No, I'll, sure. I'll give them that. How hundred percent? Just the the way they're yeah, composed now. and the way their mentality have changed. Because again, last season you you saw the cracks. Especially yeah. this time of last year, you saw the cracks going into certain games. Aston Villa when you went down, uh, Southampton, the Southampton, uh, West Ham, Liverpool away. Like you could see them, like the mental cracks. I feel like this year, I'm still yet to see the cracks, mm. and it's frustrating me as a hater because I really every week I'm looking, I say, oh, they're not showing. No, but you know what, you're doing okay. They're not giving okay. me nothing. You're doing okay. They're not giving me nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was just saying, you know, you you're doing okay in terms of hating. You keep it inside. You're observing. Yeah, you're, you're more observing, observing yeah. than yeah. 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 Fuad yeah. is failing as a hater. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, goes yeah. into every game saying, "What do Brighton have, to have for me? me? Yeah. What did he say last week? What do Luton have for yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They ain't got shit for no, you, no, bro. I, I, and then every game he comes out saying, "Oh, Brighton, they got yeah, nothing." Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Just give it up, bro. Nah, you know, someone tweet you. Someone actually tweeted me yesterday because I didn't tweet anything about the Arsenal game yeah. yesterday, and someone tweeted under one of my tweets saying, "What? Well, no, also hate tweets." I said. I gotta pick my battles wisely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to it's pick true, your battles. It's true. I can't just be getting on team against a team like this too. Why you doing it? In the Champions League. I'm excited for that one. I think they're going to they bump they them. I'd be real. Also should be go through that one. I, I don't, oh, I'm yeah. not confident in the Bayern. But, they're playing their yeah. first but I'm always apprehensive because yeah. Bayern, they've got nothing to play for in the league. Yeah. Now yeah. they're going to put all their eggs, eggs in the yeah. Champions League. True, true. That's a fair so point. Like, and they've got it. Champions League this heritage This is experience. the crunch time now. We got past the May. May Ma March Madness, sorry. Yeah. We got past March now Madness. Now it's April. Now it's April. April showers. Manchester. They got the Champions League. Man City got Champions League. We got Europa League. And the league. Yeah, this is the real. Okay, we've done the March one. Yeah, it's we all we've, we're all here now. Yeah, we all crossed that line. I'm scared, man. It's like what's it called? Squid Games. Mm. Yes, we're all we're all to the other stage now. Yeah, yeah. like this. Yeah. One, you know the talk. <laughs> I said Squid Games. Yeah, it's squid, squid Games. Yeah, yeah. That's like, a good. I like that. One. That's yeah. a good analogy. It's like Squid Games now. Yeah. Now it's like we're, we're at a bit where we're pulling the ropes, mm. and if you yeah. don't, you're going down. Mm. Okay. This is where it happens. Now April, not the cookie one. No, the cookie one, no, no. The cookie like one was early. The cookie one was March. Uh, yeah, we did that March. Okay, yeah, cool. we did the tight race. We're all past the cookie. Now it's tough to walk. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> I love the analogy. That's uh, <laughs> now, I really it now it's tough of war. Yeah. Huh? Now it's it a is tug, tug of war, war man. Yeah. Free man. Tug of war. Because this is where, when you go down, there's no coming back. Come back. Then there's no coming back. This is where it really happens. Yeah, it's true. This is where it really happens. You're a genius, bro. You're on Twisted Way. You're a genius. Yeah, I'm not like that. That's a good analogy. We all made it to
M- mentally, I don't think you guys will cope. It's a family. It's the tough, one thing bro. for me. Yeah. Look at me. I'm tired, has he? This I've is, been here. This is I've hard seen work. this. Like, I feel I'm, bad I'm, for him, well, I'm exhausted. I feel bro. bad for like. I'm so tired. I can't like. Why? Why, why, why is Klopp leaving, like bro? He's tired as well. You know, I never understood that yeah. when Klopp said no energy. Da, da, da. Yeah. I never. But today is the day where. <laughs> and you're not even I playing. Really, like, <laughs> <laughs> you're tired. You ain't even there. He thinks I'm he's on the team. He's wearing a chucky. He's wearing the free match. He's wearing a free match chucky act. He's wearing a free match chucky. Look at that man. I've been here before. I'm tired. I can't go through this. Like this, man. You're hard, this you season, don't have I don't know what uh, I'm gonna do. Bro. Bro. I need a long hard break. <laughs> <laughs> I need a long break. Real what, talk. what were you gonna say, by the way? Uh, what about Liverpool? No, I nah, wasn't about Liverpool. Liverpool was awesome. No, I was talking about Arsenal. I'll right, come back to you. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, it's crunch time. It's crunch time, man. Crunch time. It's crunch crunch time. time. We have a few stats from that game actually. Arsenal won both Premier League meetings with Brighton in 23-24 without conceding a goal. Mm. It's the first time the Seagulls have lost and failed to score at home and away against an opponent in the Premier League under the Zerbi. Uh, and Brighton have suffered their first home defeat in the Premier League since August and Arsenal currently have a goal difference of plus 51 in the Premier League which is their highest in the competition since the final day, day of the 04-05 season oh wow okay and that's cool that's but cute before we move on to the next game um, before you can, we you can end the, the yeah, arsenal yeah. Brighton segment say, yeah, with the arsenal and Brighton segment and just say you love boom, us boom push Arsenal to the side because they're doing well and it's not about them yeah Liverpool have a chance for the first time for there to be a playoff of who wins the Premier League with Liverpool, between Liverpool and Man City. Do you know that? If they get the same points and the same goal difference. Oh, it was close at one point. I think Liverpool, it, it Liverpool almost happened. Oh, they had the only like club. one-off game. Yeah. 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 That's Man never happened. Yeah. The yeah. Premier League final. No, because because we drew the closest time yeah. I think that's ever happened was... Um, City, Arsenal. Uh, no, I think it was Arsenal, the season Chelsea, or... where they were for, for a Champions League spot, I think. I think I, I might be I might be wrong. But I think they were so close, but then on the last day, it got ruined. I don't know if it was Emery. I think he's right. There I've, was a I've time, I can't remember. It's, it's in my, in my memory, somewhere in my memory, but it was before. also Chelsea and they I were- I think it might be the Emery It was one. for the top four. Yes. And I think they were like- Chelsea finished on fourth level and everything. Arsenal finished fifth. I think so. But they, it was like on the last day, but I think obviously it just didn't work yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we finished out. one point off top. So yeah. we could, yeah. we could yeah. see- yeah. We could see- That watch along. A Klopp and Pep, a neutral ground. Klopp versus Pep. What's the neutral ground? Yeah. Like a- Let's do Wembley Stadium. But they'll probably do Wembley, yeah. yeah you sure. know what's more painful? Losing a tile on goal difference. I mean, obviously, we've experienced that. that Imagine is losing worst. on your birthday. On your birthday, as well. on my birthday as well. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's worst. the worst. Day of my life. That's oh, the worst yeah. feeling ever, bro. But you like Sergio Aguero, isn't it? No, You're like, oh, nah, I hate nah, having nah, to be. I can't lie to you. I don't think I've ever had a, a worse feeling in football than that that day. Your birthday day. It was on my birthday day, bro. Just the the dramatics, yeah. the fact that I knew my team had won the league when the, our game ended, yeah. to then them winning the league. And then, uh, yeah, so the whole drama. It's true. It was I mean, just crazy. Martin Tyler, you literally said it as perfect as you can. You'll yeah. never see anything like this again. Yeah. You never. Yeah. Have, you never. I don't feel ever. Yeah, the only see time you've probably seen it is '89 when Arsenal beat Liverpool by two goals. Mm. Uh, what was it? Michael Thomas, I think, scored. That was it. That's the only time I know. Well, they had That's to beat Liverpool. Time, to be fair. Oh, yeah, yeah, but this is like. But in One the Premier game, League era, but, I don't think you'll see this. But not even that, it's just the, the whole dynamic of you're winning the game, yeah, you won the game, and technically, right now, once the game That's is ended, we're, we're champions. So at this point, we are champions. Yeah, and they're 2 1 yeah? down. And they're 2 1 down. So in QPR. the 90th minute or whatever. And then they go from 2 1 down to 3 2 in injury time. Oh, yeah, Both that's goals. Well, uh, that's that's, that's, that's Paddy, 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 Paddy Kenny. Yeah, 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 that's bro. painful. Yeah. Yeah. Paddy Kenny, Neda Manua, I'm watching you guys and closely. It's the he, last I, I watched the, 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 the podcast when he was on the Filthy and he was talking about the whole situation. He was talking about He was saying, oh, I threw the ball. Yeah. But I genuinely. And he said that. Basically, they had known that they won the. They was st- they were stays. They were safe because I think he said he threw the ball towards the striker's name. Uh, it was Cisse. Cisse. Not Cisse. And there was another striker. Jamie light Mackey. Skin. No light up skin. Front off front for off of for QPR. It was Cisse. I swear. No, no. There was another tall striker that came on. Bothroyd, maybe. I don't know. Was it? Yeah, Bothroyd? I think it was Bothroyd. Yeah, yeah. And he said he threw the ball, t- t- obviously t- into the channel for Bothroyd to run to, but he just didn't run. Uh, and then he found out afterwards that Bothroyd looked at the bench behind him and saw they were celebrating, so he knew that they were already safe. Mm. So he didn't run onto the wall. Nah, QPR. <laughs> and then they go on counter from that mistake and end up scoring the goal. Can you Yes. Yes, you can. Have you seen Zabalata's yes, goal against Paddy Kenny? 
Yeah, yeah. He kicked it at, at him, him. Yeah. And the ball and went over his head. Oh, yeah, yeah. I and the fact like that some of the fans started doing the positive. And then they celebrated with them. That's what pissed me <laughs> off as well. Was it well. That's and City? And they guys, guys ask really, why do you hate City? You don't know any City fans? I'm telling you, I'm scarred from that day. Yeah, Who do you hate more? Do you when hate ben... Sutherland fans? Sutherland fans started celebrating. Oh, Sutherland fans. Bro, I'll never forget Fergie. Yeah. No. Fergie was fuming. Yeah, of course, bro. Remember, who's next to him? Uh, yeah. Phil, Phil Jones. Jones. Yeah. Shut off. Bro. He was devil. You know the next season when Van Persie scored the free kick? That's one of the hardest I've ever celebrated after any Oh, the free two. Yeah. The free kick. No, you know. No, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 100%. <laughs> oh, and I, I understand why Fergie was vexed because over the years, we've given Sunderland so many players, mm. so many loan signings, so many players. And then you go and do that to us. And you're doing like, the Poznan. And you're doing the Poznan as well. Come on, man. That's deep, man. Nah, bro. And where are they now? Where are they now? Yeah, rotting away. Yeah, rotting away in yeah. Le- oh, now they're in championship though. They're in championship, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah they're in yeah. championship. Yeah, we now, just took over a whole Arsenal side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> now There's we gave them their props though. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. We can we can move on to the next yeah. game anyway. The Palace uh lost four two at home against Man City, another title challenger. <laughs> I had De Bruyne. What were we saying about uh, the last one? Let me be honest. <laughs> yeah, the last one. <laughs> we're foolish. I don't know about De Bruyne. I don't know if he still has is, it. I, you know, we never said that. Okay. in the keys. Yeah. We never, we never I, said that. But you're misquoted. We never said that, though, right? We said that. <laughs> we said that defense, and especially with defensively, we feel like KDB. You can see defensively that he's a bit weaker than what we've known him of him in previous years. I feel like it's not not to take anyway. Obviously, he's still a special player that can produce like quality moments like that. Like that's goal, never yeah. gonna we're never gonna doubt that. But we're just saying that in terms of him being able to put in the defensive work, there's question marks now, which is normal at his age, given his 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 recent injuries. Like he's kind of slowed down and mm. his legs are going, but. That doesn't take away the fact that he's still a high quality player, one of the best players in the league. And I think you were just saying able... until give him the key, uh, and, and, until the end of the season, yeah. this season, give the keys to Foden. It yeah. wasn't like, yeah, give, him, give Foden yeah, the keys now. Give Foden now. It's yeah. just kind of yeah. like, eventually, which is normal, you're going to at some point have to replace KDB. He's not going to be here forever. Mm. And you're starting to see the in terms of, especially defensive work, that he has gone a bit weaker. And that's why that you've seen games where Pep's taken him off in 60th minute, 65th minute, because he's 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 we he sees what we all see. Mm. Do you know what I mean? But do so you think that like, De Bruyne Loki watches SDS? Well, okay, Loki watching that. I, I don't. Think I think watch you, man. I don't, I don't, like, you know what? This guy's nah, nah. yeah, yeah, But yeah. there is a, there is a habit of me saying things on a podcast and then players yeah, going yeah, out and just true. doing you, the math bro. thing. So I would. They I'm, got your um, face maybe, on the dartboard in their room. Maybe, 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 yeah, 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 <laughs> maybe Darwin knew. I wouldn't be surprised if Darwin has got a picture of me in his thing and he just throws darts at him. I wouldn't be surprised. And it was misses it as well. Maybe it's one every ten. I think one one thing I was about KDB though. If you noticed in this game, he played a lot deeper. He did. Like he was actually playing. Mm-hmm. Like wow, a real midfielder today. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, I'm facts. talking like an actual num- central midfielder. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes we're seeing him pop out on the right a lot. Do you lot. think he plays better deeper? <laughs> nah, okay, not yeah. Kate, not with someone. Yeah, you're mad. You're yeah. mad. Yeah. 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 This month, and you're talking. Yeah. Nah, could you say in the month of Ramadan? Nuts. What do you mean? Yeah, you've been mad. The last ten days. And but these men got a devil in their chest. <laughs> Can I talk about KDB or no? <laughs> Let's talk about I, 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 this game, I felt like he was playing actually like more with, with, withdrawn. I'm not gonna say deeper, you yeah. sick guy. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I, look, I think that's an interesting role because I think we've seen players like Gerard as he got older, yep. he played a little deeper. Lampard, mm. Rooney, came Rooney deeper. as well, Paul Scholes as well too. Mm. They all kind of found it in them to change their game up to maybe extend their career a little yeah, more. Yeah. And I think De Bruyne is getting to that stage because De Bruyne at his best. Like Liban said, he's a high <laughs> energy player in terms of the, mm. the amount he carries the ball forward. He's, like, he's actually, a, for me, an underrated athlete in terms of yeah, like yeah, yeah. His, his burst, his mm. running power. That is going to go down as you as you get older. And the way to extend your career is you play deeper, exactly. you play more yeah, as a playmaker. Yeah, and I think that second goal that he scored, the first one is a, a wonder goal. And I think yeah. that doesn't show much for me because it shows how unbelievable of an individual player he is. We all know that. Mm. But the first, the second goal is this like 50 pass move from left to right to left to right and he's instrumental in it. He's mm-hmm. basically playing again as like a withdrawn midfielder. Yeah. And the, the, the finish is crazy. One of the most two-footed players that we have. In this <laughs> yeah. Game, so. no, crazy. yeah, big yeah. Him. I think he was even saying at the end of the game because they were yeah. asking him, can we see a midfield of you and Foden? Because oftentimes, like we were talking about in the pod, yeah. oh, maybe Foden has to go out wide for De Bruyne mm-hmm. or De Bruyne doesn't play and then Foden plays his best. Yeah. But De Bruyne believes, look, I've done it with Julian Alvarez. I played in midfield of him. I did it with David Silva a few years ago. Why can't it be me and uh, Phil Foden together in midfield? Yeah. He even said it to our point. Yeah. When it was with David Silva, David Silva's the more experienced one. He plays a bit more withdrawn and I'll go a bit more forward. Now it's almost like an opposite thing and I can play mm. a bit more withdrawn and Foden can take those And yeah, roles. basically give him the keys yeah. and essentially to go forward. Yeah. yeah you know, know for me, so. you know what it was, this game. Yeah. So this was a game where obviously I'm at, I was in position well, still am to be fair, where City lose a game so that mm-hmm. you get April, they go down the hole mm-hmm. type of thing. So once Crystal Palace went one lot, I wasn't. I was like, okay, well done. Mm-hmm. But then once 
KDB scored. Didn't you know it's over. Mm-hmm. It's I was game. done. Yeah, I said, why am I watching? Because I'm at stage now where I'm not mm. watching to see good. I'm watching f- for results. To, yeah. For for my opposition to lose. Yeah. Yeah. You know they were gonna so once I saw one one, I said, there's no point. I'm yeah. not. Gonna, there's gonna be no upset here. It's gonna be a mad team. Yeah. So you, know what I mean? you went to a weekend roundup without watching the game. No, I saw the I saw the highlights. Of the <laughs> he's calling you out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so what's the highlights? I'm watching my team. So you I'm trying to see, yeah. I'm trying to see yeah. my team win. Yeah. Versus, we'll get to yeah. it. I'm trying to see my team win. One thing I'll say though with City though, they are leaking goals, and mm. that's that's a big that's a big concern for them. And I think obviously it does contribute to the fact that they got defensive injuries and people are coming in. I think that combination of defenders they had, I think. Is that the first time they played together? No, I think so, yeah. That's not like the first time they played together, but... That's why Edouard yeah, scored which, which, then. Which, uh, and and that's that's why yeah, he did definitely yeah. watch the game, so it's calm, man. We, we see it, we see it, we see it. <laughs> but, who who scored uh, the second goal for Palace? Uh, Edward. 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 So what, what, I can't that? say that. My, my test scored first, though. I said the no. second goal. I said that's why he scored. Oh, okay. you know fair enough, I said? fair enough. Fair Come enough, on, man. Come enough, on, guys. We got those 1080 age. highlights. So. Fair yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah. Did you say yeah. open your ears, man? Yeah. 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 But, His ears are clearly. <laughs> so, he said that. Stop talking to the side, fam. <laughs> <But, laughs> one thing I will say, though. Tsunami. Someone, <laughs> no, I'm saying. Stop talking to the side. This guy, man. Someone that deserves the credit, though, is Rico Lewis. Because I feel like he's somebody, obviously, that's had his had his chances, but he's... He's been a he's been a bright spot for uh, Massey. Every time he's been called upon, he always I feel like I I'm yet to see a bad Rico Lewis. Performance. The thing is, this year he hasn't yeah. played as much as he did last yeah. year. But yeah, last yeah. year when they brought him in, it was almost like okay, there was the Cancelo situation, yeah. and I think even if you watch the documentary, Pep was accusing the club of, of the, the, a lot of the playing squad of you guys are getting complacent. Yeah, there's not the fire in you guys anymore. Yeah. I think he was even saying it before the United game. He's like the difference between United then and now oh, is yeah. like. They have fire. You yeah. guys don't have the fire. Yeah, yeah. He brought Rico Lewis as like an example of like, yeah, oh, he's yeah. a young kid who's never won the prem. Yeah. This is what it takes. Mm. Yeah. And I think this year he's kind of brought him in and recently as well, too, to kind of be like, okay, guys, the, the last stretch, let's bring the hungry players. Yeah, in. yeah, yeah. So Facts. I agree. Mm-hmm. But someone yeah. like Rico Lewis, obviously, is way too probably early to think about Euros for him. Yeah. But is he going to be like a key integral part for like the England team in the um, upcoming tournament? I maybe. think not, maybe not this tournament. Yeah. I don't think so. This tournament. That, definitely but, not this tournament. Uh, this tournament. I think it's too early, but definitely going f- f- forward in terms of future. Yeah, definitely could seem easily being in, involved in the. English setup. I think he's got potential. He can play uh, in so many different positions yeah, as well. You want those type of players. You want players that are multifunctional, can play in a different position, give you a hundred percent. And he's just quality on the ball. Mm. He's one of those again. He's like a, in that mode of Phil Foden when they just on the ball. They're just so good. So yeah, yeah he just needs to be careful and, and definitely. Lock when the hell position. is their court case? <laughs> <laughs> bro, I've been waiting, bro. When Come is on, their G, court like, case? When, when, are, they, leaves, when, they when are they going to get deducted points? Because this is not yeah. fair. I don't want them it's to be I need them bro. relegated. They got That's f- why I need yeah. them stripped. Yeah. I, need, I, need, I need that Meridian title. <laughs> I need that title. <laughs> Oli, I need that title. Oli, I need Oli's title. I need them titles, man. This is just too much. That's why I said to myself. I need Wenger's title, man. Wenger got a single title. Wenger winning a title in the Med City era. Yeah. AV's friend. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, you know what I thought it was really good though. Like, yeah. For me, maybe even the best player, Grealish. Mm. I thought Grealish was amazing. He had yeah. a good game. Yeah. Grealish yeah. didn't have a single goal or an assist, but he was instrumental to every single yeah. goal that City scored. Even the first goal, I think he, uh, for City, he was involved yeah. in carrying the ball. It, it looked for me a bit like Villa Grealish, where like mm-hmm. I always mm. say Grealish's best attribute is he like has like this gravity where he gets on the ball and four players go and swarm him. Yeah. And then he's very good at kind of like. Making a pass and open because because four mm. people are on him, people yeah. are gonna be open. Facts. And he's good at like slotting people in outside of those positions. Yeah, I did that quite a few times. Yeah, today, I so, think yeah. I think Grealish criticism comes from the from simply the price tag. I think I think uh, it's GA thing too. He's not a high goal. Not, he's, he's never gonna be a high output player. Yeah, I don't yeah. think he's ever been. He, ever, so he won't ever like, be either. Yeah. But so, a, but don't you think he had a good game because he was come on man, Joe Ward man. He's up against Joel Ward, man. <laughs> Joel, okay. Is it not yeah. look like okay, a I hear it. Like I hear it. Like I hear it. Looks like but a but we need to give credit to Wharton, the Crystal Palace youngster. And Wharton, yeah. <sighs> good player. Very good. Like, like the last three games, he does something. And it's like I think, too good I, think just, I just feel like this generation of uh, defenders is just I don't know what they're on I don't know if it's PDs I don't know what yeah. they're giving them <laughs> in academies yeah but they just come in and Giant. it's almost like they just come in fearless they have this level of composure and they just. I don't know what it is with these new gen fullbacks right. or, or defenders. It's just, I don't know what it is, but they're just on crack. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're yeah, just yeah, on crack, it's, bro. And it's, uh, he, again, he's another one of those players that if he keeps performing the way he does in two, three years, he might be like an Aaron Bissaka go for yeah, 60, yeah. 60 mil yeah, to a yeah, top yeah. club. So but yeah. from what I've seen, well, I like him. Yeah. I think but the Glasner player. project, man. What are we saying? Next next year, can you can cook someone for Palace? Who? Glasner. Oh, the new manager. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, Bless the hype, know, man. He gives me, he gives me, uh, what's it, uh, Jesse, uh, Jesse Moss, <laughs> Jesse Moss, man. Yeah, Jesse Moss. That's my guy. That's good. Hey. That's his guy. Keep, keep Jesse Moss' name out of your mouth. <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> we were like, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it's, it's a weird one with Palace, man, honestly, because, like, there was that whole period where they fired Hodgson the first time and they wanted to go young yeah. with Vieira and the young players, and they ditched that within, like, a year and a half just to bring Hodgson okay, back, yeah. so... I feel like whatever direction they go, whether it's Glasner or a different manager, commit to a project this yeah, time. Sure, like, sure, I don't yeah, want to... Yeah. S- uh, Mateta, uh, Edward, Joel Ward. Like, yeah. These guys got to bounce. But bro, Mateta's honestly. been on fire recently, though. I'll I don't care, real, man. Hey, exactly. I'm so real. <laughs> you ass, man. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, you like, ass, man. Of course you're going to be not, uh, good now. It's at the end of the season, man. Yeah. So how about you do it at the beginning uh, of the season, season, man? I hear it. I hear it. It's medium, man. But listen, we have some analysis from Wahid. He's a City fan. He said, first half was poor. Every attack lacked intent. Roger was making errors. Palace found very good counter opportunities, but in the second half, it became City again. I remembered how to kill opponents' momentum. Obviously, Jack and KDB was top tier, but I'm so happy Carlin got on the score sheet. This could be a start of a run of goals. Uh, we haven't been that great uh, this season against good teams. We are so reliant on Roger and Foden to carry the attack. And injuries are killing us. Looks like Rico and Akanji are only, are only fit fullbacks as Cavadio picked up something against Palace. And Austin CPFC, he's a Palace fan. He said, stylistically, the squad continues to grow towards Glasner's vision. Palace had more tackles in the final third than Man City. They also played a much more verticality and created quality chances. CPFC averaged 0.15 XG per shot for above their league low average of 0.09. Mm. A match against the reigning European champions and the heated tile rates was always going to be tough sledding. So, yeah, that is uh, Palace obviously losing 4-2 at home. Let's move on to the next game. I want to talk about this game, man. Aston Villa 3, mm-hmm. Brentford 3. Aston Villa were 2-0 up. What a game. And they bottled it. Mm-hmm. They bottled it to Rin and Dian yeah. Ilias. Yeah. Yeah. All people. Uh, treacherous twins. The treacherous, treacherous twins. twins the treacherous man. twins. We irritated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we irritated. <laughs> We irritated, man. <laughs> we irritated. We're irritated. We're irritated. <laughs> Why them two as well, man? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. Like, it doesn't make sense to oh, me. But Elias needs to learn, though. Needs mm. to learn something yeah. from Wimbrimo. <laughs> what, what, what did we see different? I uh, Renedy too, huh? Renedy, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Renedy, he, halfway yeah. there, but <laughs> I must say halfway there is crazy. Halfway you know, sometimes I, I get shocked that and when was actually twenty four. <laughs> no. Bro, that's the same age as my brother. So what like, is 24. it? Twenty four. I didn't know that. That's the same as my little yeah. brother. Yeah. He looks like, like I can't lie to you. No disrespect. Huh? He looks like he's thirty, man. Yeah, he looks he like check he's that guy's passport. Yeah, but now he got he got rid of it all. He's just pure bald. Yeah, bald. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Twenty four. Certain man, man in the pod needs to do that. Twenty four, bro. Certain man in the pod needs to do that. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, I would take certain I would man take in the pod to United. More than more than one. I would. I would. What are you saying? I would. He knows. He said he would take Embuemo to United. I would. Would you? I would trust me. I would. I've, I've, seen, I've seen. I've seen enough. I've seen enough quality is from him to moved? say he will improve. Definitely improve our. our I mean, our to, improve, to improve is one thing. I think yeah. a lot of players would improve United right now. But he now. gives me. He, oh yeah, yeah, you, you know, really like him. It's a crazy shout. No, I love it. I love it. I, 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 it likes me to when Marnie was at Southampton. Like people, let me tell you why. Like, <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not saying in terms oh, of the quality. I'm not we saying, were doing so listen, well. Yeah, no, yeah, listen, listen, yeah, No, yeah. no, listen. I not beef. Go of, back okay, and rock it out. Not fam. in terms of the actual quality of play, but trim, I remember, trim, trim. I remember Van Hal trying to sign Mane yeah. from Southampton, yeah. and I remember my United fans saying, "What the? What on earth yeah. are you? Are you on? What if you have And it's like they they see the club that they play for and immediately yeah, undermine yeah, the player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Embraer was a very good. I think he's a very very good player. I think he's got everything. He can beat a man. He can deliver the ball into the box. He can. School goals, like is everything do, you does want. Does he do any of that to an elite level? Maybe not to an elite, but he does it on a consistent level. And but he, that's why and, for and me, I don't see. It. I think United is too high for him. But the thing is, honest. he's twenty four, and I feel like he's got room to grow, room to develop, and he he will only get better. And mm. I feel like a player like that that might not cost too much because I feel like with my night what we need to stop doing is going into the market and sp- going into and splashing, and splashing I know 100 mil on no, a player but, but we, when we, you could go 30 mil maybe yeah, 35 but, max but, but get a but good Lee player ben, and Lee ben, I think there's a balance right because we yeah. went down that road with Oli right when we were yeah. buying Dan James and we were buying what's his name yeah. Van de Beek and we were I'll buying I'll take Van Dave right now with a heartbeat Powell. you'd take Dan James I, I'll take well, him that's right, the difference right, for right me. now right I now right now this team Ineos, 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 Ineos needs to go find yeah. high quality yeah, players yeah, yeah, yeah. that okay they don't cost 50 million yeah. but I, I but don't I know think you mean. I know what you mean the level of United to be honest he's a good player maybe West Ham if Akudus leaves I think that's a good a good level for him I think there's some nepotism I just want to to get like a great maybe yeah you're looking up for your boy bro maybe too but also I feel like no but I feel like so, but I also feel like United need in. to really humble themselves. Well. I also feel like United do need to humble themselves when they go into the market. I feel like they need to really be like looking at good 
players that are playing performing well in the Premier League yes. rather than just going for these 100 million players 80 million 90 million players from foreign leagues because well, look, we spent 90 million on Anthony I would have loved us to spend a third of that on someone like Embraer that I know would have produced more in the league. Do you know what I'm saying? I hear that, from? but I just it's think there's like, a balance yeah. in between yeah. both. No, no, no of them. I agree. Like, yeah, yeah. Definitely, you're right. Do you right. think what Premier League clubs will hold out well. more for their, play, uh, for their players though? Because like, there's a lot course, of money bro. in the Premier League. Yeah, so yeah, yeah it's true, really, of course. Would you think Embraer would go for five million? I don't think... Probably not, to be fair. Is they going to lose Tony in the summer? Maybe not. Maybe I'm not... Okay, realistically, do I think Man United will sign Embraer? No. So I don't know in terms of what the price range would be anyway, but... I'm just saying that that's the type of profile of players that I, I feel like you United need, need to start yeah. looking to rather than trying to go to the market and trying to get bag all it's these. It's like when they went for Hull, they went to get Robertson from yeah. Hull. Or you see, Mane like from it, South at Hampton. the time, it looks crazy. You're yeah. buying a, a, a player from a rele- uh, from a relegation Mane team. Crazy, but, but like yeah, it's and, and no, but it looked like it was like could yeah, you yeah, like, like, jump like, on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? So it's like. Salah yeah, from Roma. Sal- Salah was performing yeah. at Roma. They went and got over Salah. It's like, you need to start looking at players that are performing well for the team on a consistent I level. I agree, I agree. Rather than just looking at names and seeing... Again, I feel like social media is a big part of trans- the transfer culture now. Mm. I feel like hype really does bring players to clubs. And that's why you get agents now contacting people like Fabrizio and saying, oh, could you put out a tweet? I'll pay you this much money. Mm. I'm just saying, Embuemo got to get his people. I'm not, okay, okay. Let me take that back, actually, because I don't want to, I don't want to, I'm not accusing Fabrizio of taking, I'm okay. I'm, I'm going to take that one Because <laughs> you know he'll see this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want to, I don't want to say, I don't want to say he's taking money, but I'm saying there's a lot of accounts, journalists that do, I'm not saying Fabrizio is one of them, but there's a lot of accounts that do uh, uh, that are in they have good relationships with these agents yeah, and, and push their players out to get, obviously get them moves and stuff so I feel like okay social media is a part of it but I feel like with our eyes for example Pedro Neto we know that what he's capable of we know we see what he produces week in week out we see that's a good quality player go, in the market, go into that and go get that kind of player rather than seeing uh, Jane, I'm not saying again I'm not trying to attack Jane Sancho but then Jane Sancho in a foreign league looks good on the comp even someone like Hoyland like, huh? I'm not, I like Hoyland a lot yeah. but then even looking at him in a yeah. foreign league Decent for yeah yeah yeah, 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 and then you spend. I just, want, I just want us to be more like Liverpool when it comes to transfer approaches. No, of course. Look at the quality of the profile of the player rather than the name of the player. Yeah, and I think that's the approach that Man United start going for. And I think Ineos were, I think uh, Sergio Radcliffe was saying yeah, that in, the, in 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 his interview that that's the type of approach that he wants to go for. He don't care about names. He just wants to bring good profile of players. Bring yeah. me Jared Branthwaite. Yeah, <laughs> bring me Wharton. <laughs> <Wharton. laughs> Adam Warren, man. But back yeah. to the Aston Villa Brentford game. I yeah. they were two 0 up. Oh, I forgot we were even talking about. This. Yeah, 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 Damn. yeah. yeah, yeah. We're, 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 <laughs> no. Mercy me, man! It's coming back. But obviously, yeah. Watkins and uh, uh, what was it Morgan Rogers? Yeah. By the way, that's, that's now the that's now the Arsenal segment that we talked about United and the Aston Villa really, segment. Yeah, yeah. Gonna get you know what? Because usually we have Arsenal play Arsenal. Uh, uh, hey, uh, this people. is good. No more Arsenal. No, talk yeah, yeah. we're, we're taking over. over. We're, we're, we're taking over, 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 man. We're tired. He's gonna be like, you know what? Sinister. I like him. I like him. No, no, he's good luck. Semenyo, Salaki. Just look at what's there. Uh, but they were tuning up, and obviously, fair play to Brentford, man. They, yeah. they held their own, and obviously, they came back. Was it Zanka, Embuemo, Wisa, and a Watkins came back and equalized? Yeah. That's the Villa. That, that, that Watkins' second goal, I don't know if you guys saw it, but yeah, so the, the goalkeeper for me should do a lot better in mm-hmm. the situation. Mm-hmm. He shouldn't be fumbling. Yeah, it was a header, isn't it? And he yeah, just, yeah, yeah. And he's he's not me, even that tall. He's not that big, fam. Yeah, you get Yeah, yeah, yeah. But as the Villa, like, they have. Top four in their yeah, yeah. hands. Yeah, yeah. And, they and they're 2 0 up against Brentford. You're like yeah. thinking, okay, cool, lock off the game now. Mm-hmm. And they could see three. And then they've, they're doing this a little bit. They're kind of bottling it a little yeah. bit. Where XP they, comes in. And, and I'll be real, might because of Emery. I'm not going to say too X, much. No. Experience is real. Here we go again. Here we go again. I don't know. Okay. Here we go. Here we go again. I'm staying out of it. Here we go again with the Emery slander. Emery at Arsenal bottled the league for top four and focused on the Europa League and we lost 4-1 in the final. Aston Villa fans, he's doing the same to you, okay? He's bottling top four and top they five. They still can't let go of that shit, man. Damn right, man. They're bottling top yeah. five. They're still they're, they, they're in the top five. No, no, no. United got something from you. Yeah. But listen, I need to... United, 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 United make top five. No, 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 I'll love to see United make top five. No, no. The, the thing is... Over Emery. No, but the thing is... I love Aston Villa. If you ask me right now, I do think that Tottenham will overtake Aston Villa with the way they're going. But the thing is, you see the way Aston Villa and even Tottenham in the last couple of weeks as well at times, I feel like even though... I, I believe, and Leah's probably also believes the same, is that I think top four is out of reach at the moment. But with their performance, especially Villa, they give us hope. Top floor is lava. That's what they, it is, they give, they, they give, they give, Yeah, they give us hope. And like, that's the hope that I'm, I'm like, okay, you know what? There's like seven games to go, but depending on if we win our games, there's chances that these two teams could 
drop points and give us that opportunity Look to get to the thing. Why is he doing this? He can't keep getting away with this. Sharky, you're not here, baby. This is my show now. This is my show now. You know you brought me into the conversation. I was like, yeah, yeah. And then when I was like, it's about no, but I'm saying, but it is related really to like, United they're giving us, they're giving us this false, well, some way, some false hope that we can still, maybe potentially still is get Champions League confidence football? that it's, you'll make it top four? It's hope at this point, though. Yeah. It's hope. It's, it's not going to happen, happen, though. It's hope, it's but it's, happen, uh, I don't know what you're trying to do there, but it is hope, but I'm saying, if they, if they, bro, with seven games to go, and I've seen Tottenham's fixtures, and I've seen Aston Villa's fixtures, they've got City, Arsenal, Liverpool, Chelsea, Chelsea, Newcastle. So I'm saying to you, they're giving us hope. That's what I'm saying to you. you but as, but I, I, it, it was you know, crazy yeah. is, He's even what's crazy yapping. is though, even though Tottenham's got a hard run of fixtures, I still think they will get top four and I still think they'll go over Aston Villa. If there's any team that's going to bottle anything at, at this stage, it would be, I think it would be Aston Villa. Yeah. Why, why, why is that? Because I just feel like they're not consistent with it. I mean, since the new year really, or since the last month or so at least, they haven't been consistent with their performances. Yeah, I feel true, like true. they've just been up and down and I think that's not sustainable, especially at this time of the year. And the next game is and, the and, and they got the focus on the uh, conference. They got well. low. They got so low, I feel yeah. like there's opportunity there. Whether or not they fumble it or not, it's yet to see. But so yeah, if you look at the next four fixtures, yeah. they got Arsenal away. Yeah. They got Bournemouth at home, Chelsea at home, Brighton away, Liverpool at home. Is obviously the next yeah, five and fixtures. a lot of those games, you can't confidently say they're gonna win. Yeah. yeah. For so, if I was them, though, I'd want silverware. To be fair. Yeah. Like, yeah. do you Their think? Position, do you, uh, uh, this is a question for everyone. That, that Villa Liverpool game, second last game of the season. It's gonna be a crazy one. Should we do watching for that? <laughs> nah, nah, I'm good. I'm good. Right, the second last game of the season, mm. you know, that's... you got United, bro. That's bigger oh, yeah. than us having yeah, you do have it. Oh, United, So that's yeah. basically top five race versus uh, it's, it's five race. Race. Premier League. Race. Yeah, wow. poten potentially. And if you look at the relegation battle, all these teams are playing each other. Yeah. Hey, the, the script writers are booky, bro. Right? Very... I hope people are really understanding what's going on. Like the NFL, bro. they got script writers. Mm. Mm. It's a little too yeah, coincidental. It's, it's true, man. Yeah, but I'll say, I want to ask you guys a question. Do you think? Uh, Villa should put all the eggs into the Conference League or do you think they should start I think Emery's going to do that I promise you I'm not yeah. just doing this as a gender. Gender. I think and I think he should I, mean, I think he should to be fair bring, I think, bring, bring I that think, club silverware I think silver he's actually wear, confident 100% like, I was about yeah. to say yeah, 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 yeah. bring yeah. that club silverware yeah. you get parade he's confident you get that to, like, United's not going to make a late charge for top they can confidently get top five no but I also saw I also saw a tweet the other day or no yesterday about Bilbao when they won the Spanish Cup for the first time in 40 years and yeah we're going to is it running out of battery oh what happened Nah, it's yeah, it's fine. So, yeah. so I saw this tweet yeah. about Bill Bell the other day. They won their first Spanish Cup for 40 years. And like the way they were celebrating and stuff like that. You know that, why? That, th you know that the, this means more? That's what it for is them, for they're them. the Spanish version as of well. The, yeah, they're the Spanish version but of this means someone more. Someone tweeted out, it was basically like, um, there's no way anyone can tell me that top four means more to Athletic Bill Bell than winning this cup. And I kind of hear it, right? Like in some, like for some clubs, no, I agree. But for a club like Bilbao and a club like Villa as well too, even though Villa have huge history in Europe in the yeah. past, but a night out in Europe like West Ham had last season, yeah. mm. that night, that trophy, the memory, the run that they're going on is going to stay in the memory that's, more for those fans a than, a top four finish. than a top four finish where like Newcastle last year, where yeah. okay, they, yeah. make it, they have one memorable game. Fact, I, agree. Yeah. Yeah. I agree 100%, you're right. So so I, I wouldn't blame Emery for, for focusing on the conference. Villa season, fans like what? They probably their friends are Birmingham fans or Wolverhampton fans and stuff like that, yeah. and you got a trophy on them, bro. Like that's and, a, and not and just a, a European, yeah, a European trophy, European bro. one. And, yeah, so yeah, it's, 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 it's gonna remember. It's memorable. Now. To be fair yeah. to the Conference League, when they first came into thing, we were kind of like violating. It's like who's going to be? We're violating because we're giving teams like, like the West Ham. That's what I'm saying for Liverpool, yeah. for United, yeah. for Arsenal. We don't care for yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. For Villa, who haven't sniffed the trophy in how long? For West Ham. And do your thing. I give credit to the Conference League. Do your thing. Yeah, yeah. They're gonna make another one below the Conference League now. Do you Are think they? so? For you, no, no, no. Oh, well, I would love that though. <laughs> I don't like but buggies, you lot, maybe, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I never ever seen you act like that before, man. You were quiet on the watch you along today, man. In the watch along, the fact that you were quiet for when Kobe scored to the penalty was hilarious. It was a good man. goal, fam. It's like, hilarious. Was, you know, he, he hasn't moved for fifty minutes. I was minutes. thinking, I was <laughs> thinking, yo, we're here again, really? I'm like, tired. Yeah. I'm exhausted, bro. Let me say this about Villa though, and they gotta be careful because now I feel like complacency is starting to set in with them. Like even yeah. going up two 0 to then blow the lead and then eventually come back, like, and then they have Arsenal next as well. Look, man, even the Conference League is not guaranteed. Huh? Like mm. those aren't easy teams that they're playing yeah so lock in yeah, yeah that's true it's a good point uh just a stat from that game Aston Villa failed to win a Premier League home game in which they led two or more goals for the first time since February 2022 and this is the 28th time Brentford have trailed by two or more goals in a Premier League game 
but just the second time they have avoided defeat from such a position. Uh, analysis from Keenan Lone, he's a Brentford fan. He said, former B Ollie Watkins loves scoring against Brentford, hmm. but his brace today was countered by Mbwemo's goal in his return to the start lineup and two assists from Regulon on the left side. Regulon's performances have been up and down the season, but a two assist match is a type of performance that can end up being the difference between safety and relegation. And Mbwemo's return gives Brentford an extra level of quality on the pitch, another goal scoring opportunity when Tony's off his game or not playing a higher offensive output from the Bs looks set to follow let's move on to the next game wait, wait, wait before you do yeah. did you see Ivan Tony arguing with Collins at the end like no were, we never got to see that they, what, were, what they, were, they were scrapping basically and I think the goalkeeper had to like was that Amrabat and, and Anthony like I don't know what that was. No, 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 that wasn't a. That yeah. was. I, that was uh, snitch. Just <laughs> why are you, why is he a snitch in for? No, bro, it was on TV, bro. Le, 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 no one saw it. I don't remember. Yeah, because you watch highlights, bro. When you watch the yeah, full game, you can see it. Yeah, yeah, okay, you man. Okay, so what? You got, you got IPTV, yeah? Huh? Is that? <laughs> yeah. 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 Look, I like Ivan Tony I like a lot. Yeah. Fight. But this last, th these last six months haven't been good for his reputation. Oh, nah, I think, bro. Bro. Like the interviews, Kieran Dyer. Wait, bro, Kieran Dyer. Yeah. when, when you Mario talk that much and don't deliver on the pitch, pitch we yeah. always talk about all oh, the fans are like, oh, what club would want to sign him? But yeah. I even think of his teammates when he's talking, talking, talking about Real Madrid and Arsenal yeah. and this yeah. and that, and I want to move in the summer and blah blah. It, it and then you're not performing yeah, on the pitch. These guys are probably thinking, yo, yeah, you think you're better than us or whatever. I don't know if that's what happened. No, but but naturally, that's what you that was that's what would happen because you're. Essentially, he's saying you're too good for the club. Mm. Essentially, in some and he ways, said it in the press, you're yeah. saying and no, he does yeah. think he is too good. And for he the does, club. and he does think he is. But and he's, and keep he's, the club up, right? Exactly. Before you go, keep us up. Exactly. They are, they're in a relegation yeah. battle right now. And also respect the fact that you, you respect, like you said, expect your teammates, respect yeah. the club. But he's respect your team. He's he just not about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Doing it, and he was scoring twenty goals. Yeah, they ain't winning, and he's not scoring twenty goals. Exactly. That's the difference at this point. And I feel like you need to. Doing it once is fine because at the end of the day, you can't. We're not. He's not oblivious to the idea. Obviously, everyone knows that he's he's a very good player, and they know that eventually he will Thanks. move on. But you still you got a job at hand, and you need to focus. Like you can't just be twerking because you're moving like Cardi B at this point. Like <laughs> mm. Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, you're like you're just twerking in front of the camera. Yeah, like right? yeah, yeah, bro. Right. Like, yeah. Hey, come on. I hear like, it, yeah. At some point, yeah. you got to dumb it down a little bit and I just focus. Well, you I just came yeah, off yeah. a band. Bear yeah, in mind, you miss you miss six months of football. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. like teams are not gonna yeah. take a punt on you. They're gonna be like, yeah. I, I, I think he kind of thought because of the great season he had last year, yeah. like, okay, let me come back, Brentford will stay up, I'll score a few yeah, goals exactly. and I'll be off in the summer. I don't think he was expecting like, bro, the world's moved on since you've been yeah, gone, bro. 100%. Watkins is the new hot deal mm. in, in town now, bro. In fact, he scored two goals this game. Like, exactly. We're talking about you. Yeah. We're talking about Watkins now. Watkins is the one going to the Euros. So exactly. I, I think Ivan Tony's brilliant. He's yeah. a top striker, but he needs to football moves quickly, bro. Exactly. Yeah. And I think Arteta's, I think, kind of moved on, uh, away from, I away from him. Has, I think he's kind of noticed that himself, and I think he's kind of just moved away from him. No, but that's what I'm saying. Like, look, back, last year, Jokeris was in the championship. Yeah. No one knew who he was. Of course. What Tony was the hot deal. Yeah. You fast forward to 12 months. Now, Gilchrist is being talked about like a 70 million pound player. Yeah. Tony, well, we don't even know where he's going to go. go. Exactly. So move football moves quick. Yeah, you know yeah. where Tony should go. It does say United. I know you're going to say United. Why not? Why not? I, I would take him. No, no, don't quality, I, 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 would, I would take him. <laughs> but, it's just a, uh, but it's just, but it's a fact of, does he want to go to United at this stage? I don't know. No, no, I don't think so. I don't know. Does he want to go to United at this stage? Yeah. He'd bite your hand off to go to United. Are no, because I'm saying right now, he probably has. There's a lot of teams that probably want him right now. You got Arsenal, if, I, if, if potentially Chelsea. If Man United went in for Ivan Tony yeah. at this stage, yeah. he'd bite your hand off to join us. Are I you think, insane? No, no, no. no I think what's I, I, people I, are not I, going after Ivan I'm Tony just as saying, their number one. No, no. But anymore. what I'm saying is he could potentially have options in the summer. A Champions That's League team. Like, he he could, wants to play Champions League I'm football. Not, I'm, bro. Not, I'm, you, I'm not sure. Are you saying top English Champions League teams are in after him anymore? I think. I think guys in the last. That's what I'm saying. I think football moves that quickly. Quickly, yeah. I think other. I think other options have now emerged as those teams' first choice. And now I think if United were to come in for him, that might be the best. Movie can get okay. If you yeah, guys, okay. If if that's you guys yeah, get Isak, yeah, yeah, then yeah, I hear it. Oh, I love to hear yeah. Isak, uh, Isak. Joker is awesome. Like, if, yeah. there's, there's there's strikers in the, the walk -in, walk -ins walk -ins now, Walkins, bro. Walkins, like, yeah. And it's not to say I think these guys are all better than him, but it's but there's there's also, than yeah, him right I, I get what you goes in favor of Tony. The striker market is weak. Yeah, so he still looks the best of like a bad bunch, I guess. Fam, yeah. He's gonna get a move, bro. Like, let's not Sesco disrespect the guy. Sesco, Sesco like, as well. He's gonna yeah, get a move. Yeah, yeah, he'll get a move. He'll uh, get a move. And he'll, I'll, I'll, I'll just see where he goes in the summer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, let's move on to the next game. Bramwell Lane, Sheffield United to Chelsea
I'm of the belief that if your team drops points against Sheffield or Burnley, you mm. should be deducted points. <laughs> I, I, think I think it's that deep, bro. <laughs> bro, you make a new rule. Bro, they drew to Burnley and Sheffield United mm. in three weeks. Mm. But nah. that's how you know Chelsea's not a big club, you know. Now they nobody actually, cares. Like, nobody no, cares. No, like, if you darn. drew Sheffield United, it'll be, it'll 12, be the end of the world. If we drew it, it'll be the end of the world. I remember when we lost we lost to Sheffield at home, I remember, 1-0. And, bro, people were making songs. I remember Big Zoo dropped a song. Remember, like, that. I love... <laughs> That's it. It makes Man noise. United, Man United drop a point. You see, so yeah, I'm saying yeah. when Man United Chelsea do these types of things, or even cares. Arsenal, for example, That's Sheffield it makes noise. I don't, I don't, Chelsea, no one gives a shit. I don't think That's Sheffield crazy. care. Like, I don't think they got. They don't. They're, they're vexed. They got a point. Yeah, that's what it is. We should have won that game. Yeah, yeah, but it's funny that because someone was sitting here talking about, oh, if this happens and this happens and this happens, if my grandmother had wheels, she'd be a bike. That's true. And yeah. where is he? If buts and maybes. Exactly. Yeah? And we said this is gonna happen. It's like you know what Chelsea. They, 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 they always they always rise to the standard of the team that they're playing against. So when they, if they're playing against a top team, they all of a sudden play good. When they're playing against the bottom team, it's like they just mirror. They mirror them. It's like almost like they they yeah. drop their standards. No, look, they they didn't lose against uh, was it? Uh, they lost against you this yeah. season, but they didn't lose against Arsenal this season. Back to back, they didn't lose against uh, City. Man City. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they they Liverpool. Liverpool, Liverpool they Liverpool, 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 um, kryptonite are the small are the small teams. It's crazy. But I, I, yeah, I, I, we were saying you said that the last thing. Yeah, look at our fixtures. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, our was saying yeah on paper like your fixtures. I was like. That's the issue. Yeah, that's though. the issue. He was yeah. saying, "Oh, bar Arsenal, it's pretty easy." I said, "That's the issue. Arsenal no, is the no, game they're probably no, licking no, their lips yeah, for." Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Sheffield and Bournemouth. Uh, uh, that's yeah, the exactly. Arsenal exactly. way, you get a point, but Bournemouth at home. Oh yeah, my goodness, goodness gracious! What I'll say though is, I think Pochettino, the substitutions killed the game for Chelsea. Yeah, I think taking off Cole Palmer. I think, I think he managed the game poorly. I think Chelsea should have seen that game out and like, it's 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 disappointing, bro. Like. If I was a Chelsea fan right now, I'd be furious. Of course. That big win in midweek. I was saying, you know how I was saying in midweek, like when they were losing 3 2, mm -hmm. I was like, this could be the result that actually turns Chelsea fans against Pochettino. But yeah. the flip side happened, and if anything, Pochettino could have used that result as a way of galvanizing the fan base and getting them back on his side. Yeah. And I think this is almost like two steps forward, three steps Step back, back now. Bro. Facts. Facts. I completely bro, agree. That, that, I completely that institution, agree. Yeah. they're all over the place, bro. Chelsea, yeah. they're it's all over the administration, fam. It's disappointing, fam. Liquidate the whole fucking club. They, they, they got, <laughs> they got Chelsea, beds in their fam. stadiums, fam. Because huh? people like Sean. Exactly, fam. Yeah. Nah, I think... Matthew Harden. I think... I think... I think, I think, I think Matthew Harden lower, man. Nah, Matthew <laughs> Harden lower. Uh, they this got, guy. Well, like, they got beds Now, do you know what it is? I feel like... Um, <laughs> Uh, with Poch again, I'm not coming down on to, in the chair. <laughs> going on to his, going on to his point about Pochettino yeah. again, like he doesn't do any, like he doesn't, doesn't do, do any favors. favors. That's the problem. Taking with off him. Cole Palmer, like I, I, it's hard not to criticize him. Like I don't want to criticize him because I feel like again he's been given a, a huge task. But then, like I said, his in-game management at times it makes it hard to defend him. Like, it does he, boggle the mind sometimes. It does, like, hundred percent, bro. Sometimes I look at him I and mean, some of the things he does, I'm just like, bro, you make it harder for yourself. Like, you know, if you were just making the right decisions, it's like, like he said, taking off your 2 1 up, you haven't really won the game. No, but in no, his no, mind, no. he felt like he won the game. And you have a lack for getting those yeah. like, like And not only that, you're away from home. Maybe yeah. at home, I can understand. Yeah. But you're away from home. No, not even that. I, yeah. just, I just bottled the lead to Burnley. Yeah. So I need to secure the Sheffield United away. It, it's, but it's you know what it is? I think Chelsea yeah. is looking at the league. He's looking at the league. Well, we're not offering nothing to play for. Yeah. But that's there not is, right. But that's, there, is that's stuff, the there is something nah, to play for. Nah, you still for there is something yeah, to play for. for. Clark Chelsea. You know, he's like, I'm focused regardless on of you, mm. you've got nothing to play for, you can't be in that position you are, can't finish there. you got to be as high as the table as possible. that's From now to the end of the season, you got to fight for... Whether it's Europe or if you can't even get Europe, you need to be as high. Right, right now, where they're sitting, it's not they're acceptable, right bro. Now. They're three points away. They're, if they mm. won it's, that, it would have helped. It's them not also. acceptable, especially with the amount of money they splashed uh, for being a club like Chelsea, saying like with London Pride uh, and stuff like that. You can't be there, bro. It's true. It's man. impossible. And, and this is why I was telling Fuad, because Fuad, when, the, when we were arguing about Pochettino, and I was saying, bro, they're 11th and stuff like that. He's like, yeah, but what's the difference between 11th and 9th and 8th and stuff like that? He's like, it's all around the same. But bro, if they had won against Burnley and Sheffield United, which yeah. is two basically relegated teams, yeah. and Chelsea should be beating those teams. That's four points additional they would have had. Mm. They would have been one point behind Man United. I see. Exactly. In seventh. Yeah. Now you're challenging for Europa League. So mm. what's the difference between this and this and this? Okay, if you want to look at it like that, but yeah. there's no excuse for Chelsea being this low down the table, bro. Yeah. They've dropped way too many points this way year. Way too many points. And it's dumb. Way points. too many They're points, becoming yeah. a team that we don't care. Yeah, generally. We generally don't I care don't about care. them, bro. <laughs> I don't go. I don't care. Yeah. Next season, we'll see what you do. You, man? Boy. Hey, man. Like, we don't... 
I'm nah, interested to see what they do next season. Yeah. I'm, I, do you? Are you? Because let's be real. Let's be honest. No, no, no. Let me take my glasses for this. Do you know why? Do you know why? Do you no, know why no, I'm interested? Let's be <laughs> like, let's be let's be honest Go with on. ourselves. Let's be completely honest. Like we mm. don't consider Chelsea a threat as in from a top four club or they're gonna challenge for. I don't care what they do next season. I genuinely don't care if they get I rid of the who they get rid of. Who, what happens? That, I don't care if they stadium, they get new grass, if they get rid of the bets. I don't care what happens to that true. club. Mm. I'm focusing on true. what business is Arsenal going to do? What's happening with Man City? Man United, how are they going to, are they going to be able to compete again? Are they going to come back to that level Spurs. that we know them? What's yeah. Spurs going to do? I don't, I generally don't care about Chelsea. That's crazy. I hear it. I hear I'm it. being so real. What a fall I from grace, man. I, I said if they finish outside, of, if they finish in the bottom half table back to back. <laughs> Fam, like why? There needs why, to be a summit meeting. Why do you there care? There needs to be some sort there of G2 be, summit yeah. and there needs to be a diplomat for every club and they have to basically revoke their top six license. Oh, yeah. Revoke oh, it, Oh, they fam. have to revoke it. Like, they had they have to revoke it. Liaz, what do you think? I mean, it, it needs to wrong. be. Uh, you yeah, have to say it. You need have to be revoked. Oh, outside of uh, yeah. you got to strip one Premier League. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. These are crimes against humanity. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, still. Bro, I these agree. are crimes against football. I agree, bro. These are crimes. I, I need them to be shit. Bring the United Nations. They, yeah, yeah, they need yeah, to bring yeah, them yeah. to the yeah, table. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I don't like the We need to discuss this. I don't care about the Chelsea. Yeah, international. We didn't take them to international court. Bring NATO in. They're talking about FCM court. They need to take them to the international court. I'm on it. International court of crimes. Court of crimes. That's what they need to do with Chelsea. Bali. What's his name? Todd Bali. All of them. I need Matisse and Sean to be there. Yeah, they need to be there. And Rory. Rory. Them. <laughs> Rory, Matisse, Sean, they need to all be like there. Yeah. Oh, it's a Rico case. Yeah. They're gonna put them all. Yeah. We're gonna charge all of them. All of them. <laughs> Every single one of them. All of them back. All of them. Even <laughs> Fulham, fam. For yeah. the Chelsea, for the stadiums to be in Fulham Broadway, Fulham, Fulham Broadway be there, station. Fulham, like, right, Fulham be that's the first yeah, yeah, crime. Yeah, yeah. You know when they read out the list of crime? Yeah. The first crime is why can we not see your stadium when we come outside of Why is it hidden? Why is it hidden? Why is, it hidden? Yeah. Why is your te- why are your turnstiles so tight? Yeah, yeah that's it. Why mean, why short. do I need to put oil on my body to get into the stadium? <laughs> why do I need to put oil on my body <laughs> to get into the stadium? <laughs> why is your stadium so tiny? That's why they got beds, fam. <laughs> why is my place in the tunnel? They can't do And why do your fans keep banging against the wall after every leg? Doing that. Hey, love, what are you doing? Oh, oh. Damaging property. <laughs> property damage. And the yeah, Matthew yeah. Harden Law. And the Matthew Harden Law as well. <laughs> and we ain't forgot about what you did to that black guy at the train station as well. We ain't forgot about that. Hey, Gallagher. Wait, we're bringing it. Gallagher Gallagher as well. <laughs> we saw what you did to that little kid. You're coming down too. You're coming down. This is a Rico case. I need all of them. Oh, listen, all of them. I'm Rico putting case. cases on all you bitches. All of them. <laughs> I'm putting cases on all no, of them. It's, it's, it's a mad place, bro. It's crazy, like, man. I think you got your preview, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, man. Sean has to go for the fight. I told you my boy can't just fight. <laughs> 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 yeah. After seeing the real his preview as well. Mess, mess. The turnstiles was too tight. Sean has to go for the fight exit. And not yeah. even sit down. Nah. They have to lay down nah. on the bed. That's why they got a bed for him, fam. The beds are for him. You think, you think he's gonna sit down in a chair? You think he's gonna sit down in a chair for 90 minutes? This is like the spider man. Yeah, right fam, now. he's going for the fire exit. Uh, this is, uh, <laughs> um, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, you gotta scratch him. <laughs> oh, Why is he gonna scratch him? <laughs> he said this is the Spider Man meme, man. Spider Man meme. <laughs> Say no more. Oh, Say, no you, more. Say, no more. Say 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 no more. Alright, you to me. Say no more. I didn't want. I didn't want to get on your head because I didn't know if it was a condition. I didn't know if your head was a condition. It's a condition. But now, nah. <laughs> remember, remember, remember it's Ramadan. Head, it's Ramadan, Ramadan, by the way. I didn't know if his head shape was a medical condition. <laughs> so that's why I didn't want to get onto him. It's Ramadan, by the way. But now, even if it's a medical condition, anyone can get it now. Oh, oh no. okay. uh, <laughs> you're trying to fuck crazy right now. Right? All right. Oh, 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 you yeah, yeah, got it. You can't lie to you. The Spider-Man <laughs> meme. It's crazy. Uh, that's crazy. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's finish off the show. Wow. Chelsea United the Chelsea segment. Yeah. yeah, you're right, man. Chelsea. They, they got crimes to play. Sheffield United, yeah. they're going back down. Are they a yo-yo club? Are they coming back up? Hopefully not. <laughs> uh, <Charlotte, laughs> they don't. No, 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 honestly, that's another thing too. If you're this bad, remember how Norwich used to come up and mm. down and up? There should just be a rule that if you get relegated too many times, Stay there. Stay there. Stay there for bro. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You, but what, what about if that season they finish first? They, you, you get basically, you're not, you're not allowed no, to no, yeah, you, no, I'm, I'm serious. You give you're it to the person below yeah, you. We'll give you the trophy, promotion trophy, but you're not getting promoted. Yeah, yeah. that's fair. So I'll, Ipswich, I'm looking forward to seeing them next year. Mm. Uh, Leicester, deserved. Mm-hmm. And uh, who's the third team? Leeds. 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 I like Somerville. Yeah. These guys, stay down there. Bro. I like his first yeah. name, Chris Sensi. Chris Sensi. Yeah, Chris yeah. Sensi. Somerville's a baller. Hey, Leeds, Ipswich, and Leicester, man. That's a Yeah, but those are three teams I'd like to see in the Premier League. Sheffield. 
Stay down there. Stay down there. That's yeah, right. yeah, yeah. But let's move on to the next game. Uh, before we move on to the next game, actually, let me just read like a few stats. Uh, Sheffield United have conceded 47 Premier League goals at Bramall Lane this season. The most ever by home side in a single campaign in the competition. Wow. Uh, Chelsea have drawn three You're going to get some. You're going to get some. Two, two. You're going to get some. You're going to get some. We have Bramalene? No, for man. That's what everyone's saying. You're going to get some. You're going to get some. Oh, we did get some. We got like five dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did we play Bramalene yet? Yeah, we won. Yeah, we won. That lot, late strike though. Yeah, we didn't even play well that We didn't play that well. That's how it is. You could not play well. No, and they still beat us. They still beat us. Yeah, 100%. And Chelsea couldn't. Chelsea have drawn three successive away games in the Premier League for the first time since September 2000. Uh, Noni Madueke's goal assisted by Cole Palmer was the 14th time Chelsea had the Premier League goal both scored and assisted by players aged 22 or younger this season makes sense because I, I yeah. they, they were trying to, the they were trying to give Cole Palmer credit for that assist and this is where I have an issue with this GA stat like bro did you see the goal that yeah, Madueke's where Cole yeah. Palmer so passed it to him yeah. and Madueke <laughs> dribbles like three players and puts a top corner like, like how is that an assist bro, bro. I don't get it <laughs> Come on, it. man. Like, that was me. I'll be taking it. Apparently, that apparently by if the, I give it to Lieber and he scores, I'm taking it. Apparently, that's how they, like, apparently, um, yeah, apparently that's how they award it. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's that's always, like, always been It's a flawed yeah. stat for me to assist. Is. Like, Jesus, like, that's an assist, but I don't know. Someone could dribble three players, put it on a, on a plate, the guy doesn't score, and, like, he doesn't get credit for it. Crazy. Mental. Let's that, move on to the next game. Uh, Tottenham 3-1 win mm -hmm. against Forest. That was the uh, latest game to be played on mm. Sunday, 6 p.m. Uh, mm. Interesting. Which I've, never, I've, never, I've never seen that before. Yeah. You it's guys were 3.30. It's usually a 4.30 yeah. Sunday kickoff. I weird. think it's Chelsea Chelsea's were like in between, nope. yeah. started yeah. like an hour before. I don't get that one. I don't get it. Because usually 4.30 is the latest kickoff on Sundays. Maybe they, didn't have, they couldn't push anyone to a Monday night. Potentially. Maybe because of the European games as well. Yeah. I think but then right. again, you could have all three games could just play at the same time. Yeah, shoot. I don't mm. know. It was weird. Oh. It was Maybe weird. television rights, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, TV rights. What's happening in thing, Wembley? I don't know, it's an event. I don't know. I don't, know no, no sport I don't think it's, it's football. Sport I don't think it's a sporting event. Yeah. No. I don't know what's happening. It was just a lot of traffic that day. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Tottenham Hotspur have won each of their uh, past six Premier League uh, meetings of uh, Nottingham Forest. And since the beginning of last season, Nottingham Forest have won fewer away points and lost more away games than any other ever present Premier League team. Nottingham Forest are in a, a spot above right now. They're um, Fix equal your head, on fam. points with Luton. Why is your head tilting when you're speaking? Be straight, fam. No, no, no. I'm just gonna say, stop speaking like this. Stop speaking like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine and Sean's stomachs are the same size as his head, yeah. If you put mine and Sean's together. Damn, yeah. yeah. nah. You know, you're not yourself. I'm not going to eat. You want to do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. I'll be my Don't be my friend. No, don't be my friend. Don't be my friend. Like, we'll come. Don't be my friend. Your opportunity will come. I'll tell you what, though. The SGS over score rating? Yeah. Every joke you're making. It's getting down. It's getting down. That's what makes you, man. That's what makes you weak, isn't it? The over score rating is just That's the thing. No, I appreciate the work that they do. I appreciate you. I appreciate the effort and the work that they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I what really do. do. Yeah. I, like, I appreciate the fact that so they. So, you never had to DM them? Oh, well, I never had to DM them. You have to message them. Be no, honest. Never, why would I, 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 I DM them? Lias! I never. Lias! I never check my phone. I've never, I've never DM them. Uh, you never. Yeah. You never. Nope. And no, bro. Right, forget it then. Forget, yeah, forget. I don't know how you deflect. If we're not going to be honest, yeah. I don't know how if we're not going to be honest, yeah, yeah, yeah. forget it. Oh, oh, the 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 forget it. I don't, if we I don't, don't want to be honest, what's I, the point? I, 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 so for score foot mob, you see what he's doing. Yeah, yeah. Another school down. If we don't want to be, yeah. if we don't want to be honest, yeah, I no think you're on like. Then. If this was, uh, what do you call it? If this was a uh, pro class right now, you'd be on like six point nine. Yo, dude, you're just losing the ball every time. Six point nine. Yeah, six point nine. This is. You start at six. Five point nine. Five point nine. I know you're not talking. I know you're not. You gotta flick back. <laughs> I, 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 know, be I know you're get not it. talking. Yeah. I know you're not giving up figures, my bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's There's burst, no by the way, if you guys can't yeah, see. It. Burst, yeah. Uh but yeah, Nottingham Forest are in a spot above bother. They're equal on points with Luton right now in 18th. So yeah, they're they're no longer safe at the moment. I mean the, the point points. deduction killed them though. Yeah, that brought back in hundred percent. Do you see they, they changed the rule now? As I think I think Forrest uh now they're um given a luxury tax if you No, that's gonna be something going forward, I that's think. That's forward, yeah. Mm. But then all the all the Nottingham Forest and Everton fans are like, Oh, so you wanna give us points deduction? And now, and now you, you wanna do a little tax thing thing, yeah. to my seat in them, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, cool. I'll see you shining. But yeah, who do you guys see? Luton you I know where you're You going know is. me, man, Luton Nation. <laughs> Luton Nation. Forest or Luton? Uh, I think Luton still. It's dead too. Well, Luton say up or go down? Oh, to stay down, to go down, basically. I think Luton will go down. Stay down. Luton will go down. But yeah. one thing I love, I love watching Luton. I think they're entertaining. Are we turning the doubters into Luton? so entertaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That every game, there's just something, something's happening. It's true, man. So, but it's just, I just don't know. They just don't have the quality of players. I feel, I feel like with Nottingham, they, they, I don't think they play inspiring football either, but they just seem to get results at times. Especially from last season, they managed to get it towards the crunch time of the they're season. They're relying on Chris Wood right now. I feel like they can do it, but yeah. I just feel like... 
um, the quality of players will, might might save not. We enough. got we yeah. got Ross Barkley, man. We got yeah. Carlton yeah. Morris. Yeah, they got they got Morgan Gibbs White, but yeah. we got Carlton yeah. Morris. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got this, bro. <laughs> what about you, food? Not going for us to Luton. Luton will go down, man. They they stole the ten M's they got. Say no more. Get no more. Nah, nah, nah. This is, all, this is what it's about for us, man. Turning the doubters into believers, bro. I hear Just it. Keep, nah, I hear it. Yeah. It's all noise for us. By the way, Chris Wood. Look at that stadium. Yeah. After I knew it. Chris Wood's on smoke. He's on smoke. Hey, Chris man. Wood's on smoke. He's on but smoke. I saw on Twitter the other day, someone was asking, would Alan Shearer be able to cut it in this in this, in this Premier League, in this era of football? Yeah. Chris Wood has 11 Premier League goals. Yeah. I, Alan Shearer, I'm, I promise you, he's scoring 30. Yeah, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. 12 goals. Now. 12 goals. Yeah. Crazy, and they're asking man. if Alan Shearer, would, nah, he who would. has 260, Come on, would score would, in this era. People forget how good Alan Shearer was. Well, forget bro. about yeah, that. He, he could be, he could be the media straight. Chris yeah. Wood has 11, 12 exactly. goals in the Premier League. Come on, Come on man. Alan Shearer, Alan Shearer. But listen, Lewis' <laughs> next game is against City away. Um, yeah, they got they got some tough fixtures coming up. Yeah. Yeah. Alan Shearer, Alan Shearer, you're crazy. You they know. got Lewis yeah. away, Brentford at home, Wolves away, Everton at home. Yeah. Home away, home away. Home. City's a tough one, but after that, Alan look. Shearer. So so Luton's next result. Sorry, Bar So City's next yeah, game, yeah, tough yeah. one. Brentford at home, that's a relegation yeah. fight. Yeah. Wolves who are basically on the beach. Mm -hmm. Everton relegation fight. I stay a tough one, and then Fulham last day of the season mm -hmm. they're on the beach too. What about Nottingham? No yeah, let's go. No uh, how do I go to to Forest? Sorry, I just have to show them technology. A bit. <laughs> it's Forest have it's it's interesting as well too. Yeah, Forest has some easy ones. Forest Wolves at home at the mm. beach, but Wolves aren't gonna lose every game. So okay, yeah. maybe uh, Everton away. Yeah, relegation fight. Yeah, City at home, loss. Yeah. Sheffield United away. Mm -hmm. Tough, That's tough one tough there. Fight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Forest at home to Chelsea. And then Burnley Forest last game of the season. So yeah, this so is really going to go till the end. And between yeah, Forest will. and Luton. It probably will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do a relegation watch along. Uh, I'm uh, down. I'm there. Well. I mean, yeah. on the last yeah, day of the season. Last game of the season. But the thing on the last day, you wouldn't no, be I'm able saying, to. Running. Have you got time for that? <laughs> Nah, but I'll make time for Hey, Luton Nation. Someone you, give me a kick. What the hell is yeah, this, bro? Yeah, yeah, We're trying to win a tight one. You got time for a relegation nation. Watch it off. I'm Luton's biggest fan right now. Literally. Luton needs someone at Luton, whether it's the fan base or Twitter or the club. Send me something, bro. I used to, I used to yeah, work with I had a colleague that um at my last school that was a uh, oh, big, 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 big Luton fan. Uh, like, Elias, that's a it's cat. It's cat. I know it's never seen a picture. I've never seen nothing. There's no evidence. He said he used to play for Luton. I can't development. Yeah, development, team. development, development team. That's why he went college. <laughs> he had to do college there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he done BTEC. So yeah. it was. Yeah. It wasn't like actually no, they give you the training. Yeah. They give you the training kit and stuff. But even do, then, I haven't seen. You do sports kit. science, yeah. BTEC sports you science. Developed them to yeah. be a foot side of No, that's yeah. You do a BTEC sports science. Yeah. And then yeah. I still don't believe that story, man. Show us some evidence, man. We need the evidence, Elias. Bring the evidence. Let me see that team photos of science. Show us something. Got to be a picture somewhere. Come on, something. There has to be something. The kit that they gave him then, it will still fit right now. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. So that's yeah, he's capping. What was the point you're, you're trying to make? Oh no, no, he, he's, he's a huge, college. he's a huge Luton. He's got season tickets, so he goes to all the home games. Ah, hit me up, bro. Yeah, yeah he goes to Luton. Yeah. Carlton yeah. Morris, yeah. Yeah. out of bio. That's my guys, man. That's what I thought. Luton Nation, we got this, man. I like that. I like that. Right, well, <laughs> miracle is coming. <laughs> <laughs> that's the beautiful thing about Premier League roundup. That's why we always keep it to like ten. We talk about all ten teams because mm. we got. Lee is here right now for Lee. Hey, you got Faze was born with me, Lee exactly. and bro, yeah. come on. Everyone has a little thing, man. Faze, I'm not buying that one, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. If you saw the yeah, Vatican, yeah, yeah. <laughs> subscribe to YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. Subscribe to my YouTube. <laughs> 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 Shut up, man. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't trying to hear about Vatican. <laughs> You, know, you ain't watched by a candle. But yeah, let's go back to the Tottenham game. We'll talk about the Tottenham Forest game. Tottenham won 3-1. Uh, as you guys have obviously said before, you think Tottenham are definitely getting that top four. Yeah, they're hitting form at the right point of the season. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mickey van der Ven's goal. Screamer. <laughs> Pedro Porro's goal, man. Hey, yeah. man, there were some goals, but I need to start to get something, Adani man. I feel was eating this weekend. Who? I feel Adani. I don't know how you say it in my language. Uh, why was he eating? Oh, yeah, he was, he was eating. eating he was eating because of his team. He was eating good goals today. It's true. Yeah. Don't remember that. He's an eater. <laughs> okay, let's uh, <laughs> See, you're why you breaking all set? Why you broke the road cars? Why you guys oh, break it? Why you my business? He dashed it, not me. I didn't dash it. He could have been here. You're breaking the equipment. You're breaking the equipment. I hear it, man. I hear it. I hear it. Yeah, um, yeah, so listen, that was a Tottenham 3 1 win mm. against Forrest. That it was very comfortable in the end for Tottenham, I'll be honest. They had like so many chances as well. Mm. Me and you needed Sun to do something. Did you have Sun in your FBL as well? No, I had Madison. I kept it. Oh, so no, I got, he, was, I he got me an assist. Yeah, son only got assist, man. Yeah. yeah, he didn't. He wasn't my thing. He, he wasn't sunning today, man. Yeah. It was annoying. Yeah, but you're done out here, bro. 
I'm done now. He's closer to me. You won the winter FPL league. Yeah, you won the winter one. That's the real dog. That's the real dog. He's this guy. Must be leading it. Vibe C. You think he's going to win it? I don't think he's going to win it, but he's leading it, though. Let him lead it. Fine. Seven games to go. You never know what's going to happen. Let him lead it. That's gonna be his celebration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's his celebration. As That's well. what he's doing right now. Come <laughs> on, Sharky. He's switching the cameras. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mental. Let's move on to the next mm. game. Wolves lost two one at home against West Ham. Listen, Wolves, man. Uh, Fans, I don't know how you dealt with it this season, but they well, got uh, screwed over yeah. by VAR again. Not you see the VAR decision at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Wolves have been robbed. Wolves been robbed with ten points. Hasib, <laughs> easily. I'm being so serious. Gary yeah. was fuming. Yeah, nah, nah. With him. that, I think the Premier League had to do that. Why? For that, for, for that corner. The, the, Ward Ward the winning goal. That, that, that oh, goal. that Ward Prowse corner. Fam, no, but no, you had to. First of all, yeah, that was. Give <laughs> them you know, the there's three a name points. for it now. They, there's what? a name for that type of goal now. What do you I mean? can't remember what it's called. To score from a corner. Oh, yeah, right. yeah. It's, it's, they've given it a name now. Is that like Olympic goal or something? Yes. Like, is it yes. Olympic yeah, goal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give yeah, yeah, him the Olympic yeah, yeah. Once you score an Olympic goal, goal, goal the game should be done. Do you think he meant it? I don't think he meant that though. He thinks he meant it. I don't think he did. I don't think he meant that. Because it's a weird one. I don't think anyone saw just getting. Yeah, but this is this is where right for me like big name by like. When Tony Cruz did it for Real Madrid, we all said, yo, Cruz, man, all time, uh, yeah. Like, how class is that? But when it's Ward Frost, like, some normal white British dude, it's like... Yeah. Like, you know, but the, the biggest, the thing is, though... <laughs> 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 nah, but to be fair, though, like... I w- like, it's it's one of those ones, because of his ability, and we know how good he is. Yeah, facts. I'm, giving, like, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to give him the benefit yeah, of the doubt, bro. Yeah, but it's like... I look at it every time I keep watching. I'm like, the more I watch it, the more I'm like, Man, if his name I was James, James Ward, yeah, Prowse, I get it. Like, like, yeah, we'd be nah, saying, hey, true, 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 brilliant, true. I'm gonna give it to him, bro. I mean, we'll give it to him. No, we'll give it to him. Regardless. So, yeah, yeah, are we yeah. collectively decide we're gonna give it yeah, to him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how the PFA decides like some yeah. dubious goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're that. Wait, okay, we're giving it to him. So we're saying this is going. That was a goal winner, but like you said, we say that. Who else were we gonna give it to, by the way? We'll do doing that SCS goal of the weekend. What do you think that's goal of the weekend? Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, Bruno. No, 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 no. No. Oh, Bruno. Call me Manu. Manu. Oh, I, I prefer Manu's one. Yeah. Yeah. Van der Ven? Van der Ven's a screen. Oh, yeah. I think Manu's the best one. Uh, Messi, yeah. Power. Power. Watch, watch, watch. That's, yeah, that's true, actually. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. I'll be honest. No, no. It has, um, has to be Manu, man. Ward-Prowse. Yeah. Ward-Prowse one is sick, but Manu, like, you know 100%. He meant that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, Didn't look where the goal was because he already knew. A weekend of very some really, really good goals. Yeah, even De Bruyne, we haven't even said much. Oh, screamer, yeah. See? So, like, yeah, it's been a good weekend of goals, man. It's true, man. It's true. And even Trossard's dink was nice. This season, felt like Alexis against West Ham. I like that. I was going to say, this season in general, I think I read the other day, there's been a thousand goals in the Premier League this year. Yeah. It's like one of the highest scoring seasons we've had in a while. Oh, wow. For the entertain for yeah, the it's neutral, been, it's yeah, been good. It's been entertaining. Yeah, it's been true. Entertaining, but back to the Wolves game, yeah, that VAR decision it was a oh, subjective, right, subjective offside. But yeah. I, which is I've never heard of that, bro. Like the, 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 the VAR is supposed to come in for yeah. 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 Unclear, like, The ref had to yeah, check dubious, it. Dubious yeah. uh, yeah, yeah. decisions. Yeah. Because they're basically saying he's in an offside position. Is he blocking the view? Like, he is wasn't he, gonna get is that. He, but he was never getting that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's no, the no. problem. Like, that's it's so mean. They, they. It's such a like you said. It's such a dubious one. But if I was the ref, they should have. Because it's like, we know that yeah. he's never getting that. But it's the idea of you don't know yeah. because he's someone he's in facts, his way. So facts. it's like, it's such, a, it's such a techie one. Yeah. True, Lino, they want to make a decision. The man them in the office, they want to make a decision. So your ref, I My mic like... ain't working, bro. <laughs> mm. I can't hear what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Play, play the game. Yeah, yeah, shoot. Mm. Give that goal, yeah, give that I'm goal. not giving that decision. Cause yeah. that's, if you man don't know, you're telling me to look. Yeah. There's an issue. Yeah, that's you, know, what, yeah. you know what it and is? And it's for offside team. Shout me. Yeah, Long day. I was, I was going <laughs> to say, you, you know, like, this is why every time you ask like, modern day players, like, every time I've ever seen an interview where they're like, what's the thing you hate the most about the modern game? Yeah. Or, like, a lot of them, first of all, they say like, oh, I hate how like, stati- like robotic and stuff. They don't play for the love yeah. of the game anymore. Yeah. But a lot of them say, hey, I would get rid of VAR. Yeah. Because, bro, a, a decision, like, and that's not to say VAR is useless at everything. Look, yeah. sometimes it's it saves from howlers. Like, there's been mm. some goals in the past that like, yo, if you Are we talking VAR, about VAR or the people that run VAR? It doesn't matter. My point yeah. is like, something like this is like, this is mm. a part of the game. This is just a natural flow of the game. Somebody standing in front of the goalkeeper on a header like that isn't affect like, like just see what your eyes are saying. Like, mm. Okay, by the letter of the law, maybe, but like mm. the beauty of football is sometimes stuff like this happens. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I think for me it was a, 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 the wrong decision in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. No, you yeah. can tell Gary O'Neill was incensed after that decision. I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't blame him. I don't I hear blame him. Yeah. You have to be, fam. It's true. Wolves are where are they in the league? It's my phone. Sorry. Wolves are currently. They're like tenth, I think. They were so above they Chelsea before the weekend. I think they yeah. went below them. Eleven. Well, they're, now they're going down to eleventh. They're, they're, so. Like I said, they're on the beach. Mm-hmm. They're safe. They're probably <laughs> not
Yeah, like you said, they're on the beach. That's the best. Yeah. That's the best way to describe it. Like mm. they know they're safe for next season. They haven't got anything to play for, so it's just kind of like. But that's the scary part: is you don't know what kind of team you're gonna get with them every week. Sometimes they might give it a hundred percent. Sometimes they just like the other week with Fulham. They just the worst teams. Are, the worst teams to play are the teams that have nothing to play for. Yeah, because mm. they'll be like, I got nothing to lose. Yeah, I'm yeah, gonna go true. for this. It's, true. Yeah. it's scary, man. West Ham obviously. They're playing against uh, Leverkusen mm-hmm. in the Europa League. Yeah. So they're still in the league race in terms of another Europa League spot. They're only one point behind you guys, but they yeah. played one more game yeah, more than of you. Of course, yeah, yeah. Um, that Europa League fixture, actually, I wanted to talk about it because it's happening this Thursday. What do you What do you guys have for that? For that Who do they oh. have again, sorry? Leverkusen. Uh, by Leverkusen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. wow. That's, That's a big it. game. Gonna, we Moyes might, yeah, 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 yeah. We might do an exclusive watch along just on playback for that game. I you mean, really like, want to do that? Because you've been asking. I really want that you've game. You've been asking for There's that There's something about that game. Playback, cover boy royalties, man. Yeah. Shout out playback. No, nah, yeah. I don't mind. Actually, I might, I might do it. If you do that, do it, yeah, I might do it for that one. We I'll, might do the um, I'll bring my that laptop game and the, well. the Liverpool Atlanta, yeah. Atlanta game. Mm. I think it's the same time. I might, I might do it. Like Alonso 41. Yeah, 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 I might do it. That, that could one. be a good yeah, one. Yeah, Alonso 41 a, games unbeaten. That'd be an entertaining game. Yeah. For, imagine it's Moyes who breaks the record. Hey, man. Yeah, that would be insane. It makes sense. Insanity. This makes sense that David Moyes breaks the record. Moyes is the one to finally break Alonso's run. Crazy. But to be real honest in terms of prediction, I think that it's a boppage. I think you think so? I think so. I think Liverpool's in a boppage. What do you uh, uh, aggregate score Mm -hmm. then? What's your aggregate score? Aggregate score, I'd say like if you're saying boppage, a free goal deficit? I'm gonna say four one. I don't think so. I think it's gonna be tight. I think I think Liverpool's will progress. But Leverkusen won a lot of games, bro, like last minute. That's or like, true, like against Karabakh, they were down yeah, like three that different free time, times, nah, bro. Nah, 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 and West Ham have quality players that yeah. can hurt them, man. Yeah, yeah, and they've yeah. won a European trophy last season. That's they've true. got yeah. like pa- Paqueta, yeah. Kudus, Bon. Those, that three is a Champions League level three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't think it's going to be a bobbage. I think Leverkusen will beat them because this year they just seem like destined for yeah. greatness. Like, yeah. They seem destined to win everything. Yeah. I mean, ultimately, like, we'll see if they can beat you guys. But that would be an incredible I don't think, yeah, Alonso as well. That would be an incredible I don't think it'll be. That's a good final. But I don't think it'll be as crazy as you think. Yeah. Tight. Okay. Like, I think yeah, even four, yeah. four, I don't three, think three, two. I think That's what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I just don't know. Yeah, but definitely we'll, we'll think about doing a watch long for that yeah. if you guys are interested. Um, but yeah, listen, mm. Wolves obviously lost at home to West Ham. Um, let me see. James Ward Price has now registered 100 direct goal involvements in the Premier League. Mm. This was his 13th wow. goal involvement of the season, bringing mm-hmm. him level with his tally from 22 23. Mm-hmm. Uh, only Southampton between uh, November 97 and April 2014, 29 penalty goals have had a longer run of successfully taking penalties in Premier League history than Wolves' ongoing run of 23. Mm. Uh, so we got analysis from probably not a saying he's a Wolves fan. He says, safe to say, we dominated the first half and could have scored more without the firepower of the likes of Cunha, who has mm-hmm. just retired from the re- injury. Huang, it provide difficult, uh, it proved difficult for us to get the two goal cushion. <laughs> Hey, good, career, good career, Cunha. Yeah, you say you retired from injury. Yeah, he definitely did, man. <laughs> Return. <laughs> we then thought we had equalized after a header goal for Max Kilman, which was disallowed, and it was disallowed after the referee checked the monitor and wrongly ruled it out. It's honestly embarrassing how incompetent and inconsistent the referees in this league are, and it's yet again our team on the wrong end of the decision, and it's frustrating as these mistakes are starting to translate into lost points, which could have changed our position in the league, which makes it even more annoying. Let's go to the last I'm couple of games. By the way. Hey man, oh, you're yeah. in excellence, man. Oh, he's yeah. he's yeah. Again, we spoke about him. He's a, he's the one I could see moving to uh, like. Uh, we should be in. Big, yeah, we should be. We should be. He yeah. should be. Chelsea should be. Should be, in, yeah. be you guys should like. Yeah, he's, I wouldn't mind. And he's still young. He's yeah. still a baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's still true. a baby. It's so. true, man. He's Algerian. He turns well. twenty-three. Yeah, this yeah, most definitely. most importantly, he's Algerian. Oh, that's your point. Yeah, Algerian excellence. But he's he's only twenty-three, and he's been. It feels like he's been playing in the Premier League for so long now. Because I think he started when he was like eighteen. So I played. He came in young. Twenty-three, twenty-two. He's, I, I, he's young. He's turning 23 this year, I know for sure. Yeah, yeah. He's, tw- he's probably about 22. No, but no, he's he's one of those like flying fullbacks, techie, like good control. Yeah. Good. Mm. I mean, he got he won the penalty. There was this one incident where he was like surrounded by three players. Yeah. He jinkied his way out of all yeah. of them. So. He's technically really good. Hey, he's yeah. amazing. Technically amazing. In fact, defensively is probably yeah. the weakness in his game. But I yeah. think in a system like Liverpool, for example, oh, he'll, he'll you hide the flaws, you maximize the strengths. You have a baller right You start yeah. laughing when you saw him in the, win that penalty, man. You're like, why the hell is he that far? Okay, bro, because he plays like a winger. He's a left back, but I've seen for Algeria, yeah, yeah. like he was our best player for me at Dafco. Yeah. Like, he's, our, he's like mm. basically an attacker for us. Yeah. Mm, fair Defensively, mm. uh, but it's modern day football. Like, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. you can coach that. Um, let's go on to the last couple of games. We've got Luton winning 2 1 against Bournemouth. Mm-hmm. Luton Nation. Nation. Luton picked up their first win in 11 Premier League matches and also that went unbeaten in back to back home Premier League games for the first time. The Hatters' victory is the first time they have won a Premier League game after conceding first. Oh, man. So there's some character shown there. Mm-hmm. But like I said, they're level on points. You guys all think Luton are going down except for you, Lies. Um, Obviously, I didn't let you say anything for the Forest. I wanted to wait for the Luton. I want to know
<laughs> you know, you know, you know what, this, this has been such a ride of Louis. I feel like I've almost like, joined the family. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I'm saying, buy me a kit or some shit like yeah. that, man. I'll rock that shit for yeah. bro. But I, I just like watching them play. I mean, like not to, mm. nothing to take away from from Forest or Brentford or Everton. They're all good teams in their own right. But Luton, man, there's something to be said about a team that no one had any expectations for them. They're one of the brokest teams in the league, really, in yeah, terms yeah. of like, uh, price of the squad, a lot of free transfers, a lot of guys that people probably thought were washed, and they just have this unity together, man. They actually play pretty entertaining stuff. Mm. It's not like free-flowing men's yeah, city, yeah. but they're direct, they win their duels, they, they're aggressive, and they hit the post a few times. Yeah, like, and they, they, they always the fight. They, they always fight, man. They fight, yeah. You can never question their work rate, which yeah. you, that's probably the difference between them, Burnley, and Sheffield United. They yeah. were... I think they came third uh, within the playoffs. That the way they yeah, were yeah, yeah. So like, okay, they're not as talented as a Burnley, for example, of like company or like Sheffield United for whatever they're reason. They're gritty and they but they're, have, they're yeah. gritty. And for me, I, I like that. So mm. I hope they stay up, and I think mm. they will. So uh, I made a prediction earlier in the season. I said if Luton stay up, Barclay should get a top for signing the season. Do you think he sh should still get that? Uh, no, because Cole Palmer, there's Declan Rice, there's uh, sign the Callister, season for them so or for the Premier League. But, but, for the but Premier he League. definitely no, no. gets an honourable mention because of the, the, the fact that. that he's rejuvenated his career, yeah. and uh, he's probably gonna get a regardless of whether if they, he can get they stay up or he'll get, down, he'll get a move somewhere, and he'll stay in the Premier League next season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he. Mm. We'll I, I, do you think he'll join one of the newly promoted teams? Like no, oh, he's nah, nah, he's better. Nah. He'll join a mid-table. Oh, mid do you think like even more of a thing? I think more like of a mid-table side. Yeah, like, like a mid-table side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Newcastle. Like that, West Ham's a good shot because yeah. Calvin Phillips hasn't really worked out and maybe someone like Barkley could come in and fill Bex. that role. Bex. So mm -hmm. I think, yeah, one of those teams definitely Even Man United. Nah, man, we need to progress. I like, not to take anything from Barkley, I think he, he, mm. he would, he's obviously a good player, but it's just that we need my need to move away from stuff like that. That's like an Ericsson. Yeah, yeah, yeah like another yeah, Ericsson type. Okay, we need to move mean, away yeah, from that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fair yeah. Enough, no fair more enough, yeah. 30 year olds. Right? I don't even yeah. know how old Barkley he is. He's exactly, he's 30, 30 yeah, years yeah. old. Yeah, yeah. What's, what's, what's wrong with uh, you ageist? For United, yes. <laughs> stop, <laughs> United, buying, yeah. stop buying 30 year olds. Yeah, Facts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Facts. Yeah. I am ageist. Yeah, yeah. Sue me. Fair enough. I will see you. Listen, let's go to the last two games. Everton 1 0 against Burnley. What a winning goal from Everton. It was a quality winning goal. You thought Comet Calvert Lewin. No? It wasn't yeah. the winning goal. Uh, he's, oh, you yeah, know, he's, he saw that game. He said, I'll listen. Be you, bro. What was the point he made again? Listen, can, I, can I say this? Yeah. <laughs> Calvin Lewin, bottom three strikers in the Premier League, man. Wow. But he scored the winner. About, no. we got to get. I, he just looked at me like, <laughs> he, he might be. He ain't lying. Yeah, he's, he's, bro, real. I'll be real with you. Calvin Lewin, yeah. He's so, like model for I Primo or something. Like, I've been saying, I think we, I've been saying this since we started SDS, bro. <laughs> he's, there's nothing that no one can convince me otherwise. He is bottom three strikers in the Premier League. The guy scores once in the blue moon. It's just, <laughs> he offers Everton just aerial threat. He gives nothing else. Noth leave, nothing else whatsoever. Ronaldo. He's been in the Premier League for how many years now? <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's meant to be Everton's talisman in terms of going forward, getting goals. And we don't see it week in, week, uh, week out. He had that little purple patch when James Rodriguez and Ancelotti were there. They had a crazy season that year, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And apart from that, really, what have we seen in the last 10 years? What have we seen yeah, in the last true, 10 years, bro? Like, I'm, one season I'm he's just a tree for me. Just, it, literally, bro. You guys like, were close to getting him as well. Bro, we had SCS, I don't care what he scores. SCS two yeah. years ago, these guys, Chunks, I think it was Chunks, Sharky, Screaming and Elias on the table. Elias was the only one who said, I don't want to see DCL, but mm. they all say, nah, DCL could be good for us. No, no, no. What is Elias? What do you think? What were you going to say? You were going to say something. No, I, I, I saw the smile on your face. I know this. No, I was going to say something bigger about the Premier League, but nah, for me, the... I mean, look, if you want to make the point about how poor Everton's attack are, whether it's Calvert Lewin or Beto, yeah. look at Everton this season. I think they're the fourth best defensive record in the league. Mm -hmm. uh, their attacking metrics, XG, chances created, are all extremely high. And yet, they're 15th fighting in a relegation battle. That's down to the attack. 100%. But a bigger point I want to make, I hear all this time about the Premier League this, the Premier League that. It's the best league. This is where players test themselves. I think this year it's been massively exaggerated. Everton... Won their first game this weekend in 13 attempts. Their yeah. first win since December. They've been deducted points this season numerous times. Mm -hmm. Like I said, they basically have no attack. Yeah. And yet, in <laughs> April, they sit in 15th, mm -hmm. four points above the drop, with a game in hand. <laughs> They're going to stay up. Yeah. I just named you all of that, and they're still going to stay up. Yeah. The Prem has been exaggerated in terms of the strength. The top teams, yeah. Liverpool, City, uh, I get, Arsenal, you're right. three are probably the best five teams of the week. The rest, man. You're right. The difference in quality on both ends mid, is mad. It's mad. Crazy. Man. That's, that's a crazy stat, bro. Like, yeah. When I heard one win in 13, mm -hmm. yeah. I was like, Everton are basically, they could have just decided, we that is, that's, this again. That's we're going to forfeit this game, and then 13 games later, <laughs> yeah. we're going to win, and we're going to still be safe. That's, that's insane. Crazy. It's relegation because that is relegation form. 
crazy. That's how bad that is, that is relegation. Have been. Burnley have yeah. been. Forest have dropped points. Brentford, Luton. They're still, they're, 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 they're they never gave a hand. Like, yeah, yeah, it's crazy, bro. Yeah. You know, Sean so, so, uh, so, uh, so Dice, yeah. Uh, one thing I'll say to him, yeah, is I credit him because I don't know how he's Thanks. managed to. I don't know how he's managed to pull this off. They keep throwing all these handicaps at him, <laughs> and he's like, "Give me more, yeah. give me more." Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, another ten yeah, points. He's like, "Deduct another, yeah," but it's like. Bro, I, I have to. You already said as well too, like because yeah. they were t- they were asking him because Everton obviously had these yeah. financial issues because of the bad signings they made, the yeah. Sigurdsons, the Andre Gomes, etc., etc. Sigurdsson was a good player they, for them, though. Not for him. They was good for Swansea, yeah. not so much. They bought him for fifty million, you know. Yeah, but didn't for they Ever- sign oh, him and Rooney? Okay, for, when, when you play like that, he was good. When he was good like, for Swansea. Swansea yeah. was elite. When, when you play like that, him and Rooney in the same transfer window, they both played the same position. Yeah, yeah. Gomes, Klassen, all those guys. They they've all been flops. That's really the reason why they're in the financial. Yeah, of course. They asked him about that. He's like. I would never have let that happen. Not yeah. on my watch. I was yeah. like, yeah, he's hard, man. Like, yeah. he's, <laughs> he's crazy. Nah, he's, he, yeah, he, nah, I like him. I like him. He said this nah, nah. How, how do you do his voice again? Well, guys, what we got to do is just get the ball and just get it behind the net. <laughs> that's what that's that's it. It. That's that's it. That's that's what you got to do. Fans. He actually football. did say that as well, you know. Right, it's not even cap. He that's actually football. did say that. Yeah, I love that edit where it's like, that uh, Guardiola's oh, talking I, to Rio <laughs> and he's talking about all these tactical points <laughs> and it just switches to you. <laughs> just, just put the ball in the back of the net. Yeah, that's <laughs> it, though. That's all you have to do. That's all you have to do. That's all you have to do. What's all this like? Invert all this. I don't care, man. Get the ball. Boom. Boom. Yeah, yeah. Press way to Dominic Cameron. That's it. I want to fight Calvert-Lewin there. Yeah, yeah. Nah. Just find him. Calvert-Lewin, he's not it. But he's not it. That yeah. nutmeg, when he could have got... Oh, that was a nice goal. That was a good turn. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, well, like, Liban, the, Liban yeah. hit the Beto, number. Beto, had, they had like two penalty shots. That could have been you, Garner, your, your striker right now. <sighs> and I would have been saying, I want him out. Him and Eddie up top. Bro, you, me, I remember those. I remember huh? those time people trying to buy <laughs> him. Him and the Eddie up top. Uh, of, of, and how dare they even try to compare him to Cristiano. They compared it to Ronaldo. They compared it to Ronaldo. Delete. They were like, yeah, the leap. Yeah, I was like, yeah. I'm like, you guys have a crazy yeah, leap. Yeah, crazy when leap. I started hearing the two names that were yeah, the same yeah. sentence, I said, you yeah, know what, yeah? Dominic nah. Carvalho and Cristiano Ronaldo. I, I was like, I need to push this agenda more. Yeah. I said, yeah. I, was like, yeah. I, said yeah. I need to push yeah. it more, bro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but ev- ev- like you said, Everton have. Ever I don't think he models anymore. Hmm? I don't think he even models. Nah, man. He's know, just man. out here. So he's not just doing good. <laughs> he's just out of here, fam. <laughs> I don't know what he does. He's not possible anymore. I don't, I don't know. I don't well, know why, 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 why are you mentioning that? I don't know. That. <laughs> That's why it was sort of... Who, have who you not keeps, clocked? Who keeps up his career? Yeah. When, yeah. When, when footballers focus on the model team... It's you model more than shut up and dribble. Mm. Days, man. What are you saying, Fu? Shut, shut up and dribble. Just, yeah, shut up and play <laughs> He can't even do that. He can't even do that, man. <laughs> you model more. That's more than like Liverpool and LeBron, kid. Come on, that's light, man. You're doing yeah. more than Dominic Cavalier, man. That's what I'm saying. You're sick, man. Yeah, you you were never the same, bro. <laughs> like, you know, I was a jury rap, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I was, say, I was gonna not? say, how come they did a full shot with Van Dyke and LeBron, and then they would do just a close out shot from here? <laughs> no, I had, a, I had, I, okay, cool. <laughs> so, why are you laughing at that, fam? They didn't say no more. So, <laughs> um, send for me. No, 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 don't touch me, fam. Move, man. It's, it's Ramadan. You got the devil on you. I don't want to touch that, fam. Move. You get away from me, fam. Stuff a lot of him. Let it, let it, let it. I should have. Van Dyke got it. Get away, fam. Get away, fam. This guy is sicko. This guy is a sicko. <laughs> Uh, Burnley have now lost 21 of their 32 <laughs> Premier League games this season. <laughs> Only to lose them more times in the pop fight season yeah. 29, yeah, 2019. Yeah, man. They gotta go, bro. Let's go to the final game of the PL Roundup. Fulham lost 1-0 at home against Newcastle. I just had that game on in the background. The first half, I saw Fulham pepper in Newcastle. I don't know yeah. how Newcastle got away with anything. First half, they were popping. Pop them, they were you know? popping them. Bro, every time I just saw Fulham on but the that's, 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 that's You know what's crazy about Fulham? Fulham is another team that are... Um, oh, they're ent- like Luton, they're entertaining to watch because they create so many true. chances. They just have no killers. They're just no killers. No killers in that team. It's Obviously, crazy. they have uh, Muniz, who's been on a crazy run recently, but... There's only so much he can do. There's only so much he can do. And like I feel like with Fulham, they play good football. They, they're a good team, but they just need to have a stable... Uh, if they had Mitrovic this season, what would you... Oh, have? they'd be eating. Oh, what we they had Mitrovic. Yeah. yeah, You're looking at around... Top eight. The conference level, you maybe even Europa shouts, bro. If they had that's true, because the chances they create, yeah, man. it's mad, it's yeah. mad, and I think that was a big loss for them when they when Muniz they lost. has been yeah. a revelation for them, yeah, hundred percent, yeah, yeah. yeah. What else about Newcastle though? Huh? Mm? They're eighth, two yeah. points behind us. Mm. You look at talk about injuries, injuries, injuries. They've had some big injuries this big year. Injuries, Obviously, yeah. Botman's been out. The goalkeeper's been out. Yeah. Tonali has been a disaster from that point of, of view. Course. If they can get sixth place, like I said, they're only two points off us with a better yeah. goal difference, and get into the Europa League after the season, yeah. Look, that's obviously not what they planned for. They wanted to make Champions League. That's where they wanted the project to go. But yeah. I think they'll be content with that. They'll yeah, be okay, we sure. salvaged it. Mm-hmm. Playing in Europa League with these players. It's, I think they'll be happy with that. Yeah, no, for sure. It's such polar opposites
top and Newcastle got top four. Mm. And now they're sitting in eighth. And I don't really hear as much outcry. It's because it's the, it's Newcastle, the, it's Newcastle, it's the name and expectation. United. It's name and expectation. With Manchester yeah. United, you always expect it to compete regardless of what the situation is. And with them, obviously, Newcastle, even Brighton, you could throw into that same question. Yeah, Both teams tough. did really extremely well last year. Brighton Both. was different because Brighton, they lost all their players. Newcastle and United, I think, would have expected. Newcastle lost a lot of players as well, though, this season. Newcastle was this At season? one point, they were playing teenagers. Oh, I'm talking Lewis, about... Lewis no, but I'm talking oh, about... you mean like transfers? No, but I'm saying Brighton sold a lot of players. Oh, sold. Okay, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, okay, yeah. Like oh, okay, Brighton, okay. for me, they yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, for Brighton to do what they did last year would have yeah. been a huge accomplishment. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't get what I get what you're saying. Okay, Newcastle sorry. and Man United yeah. would have probably wanted to consolidate where they were or get better. Yeah, 100%. Because Newcastle signed to Nali. They made... What's going on? Can they buy players? Can they splash out with the Saudi owners? It's not that they don't have money. It's huh? the FFP in it. FFP, yeah. FFP, yeah. So they got these owners for no reason. <laughs> no, it's not about the owners. Like, you have to balance the books. You have to be able to yeah. generate a certain amount of money before, no before, reason, before spending they were, it. They like, were bottom of the league. They yeah. came in, they made Champions League. No, like, yeah. you remember when everyone's saying, oh, we got the Saudi plug now. Boom, boom, boom. We're going to get Ronaldo on loan and... Yeah, but you still need things. to do within, no, I'm within, not the, seeing nothing. within the financial fair play. Now. But City are yeah. exempt from that. That's why you can see the problem. <laughs> City, yeah. City are lucky because they done it at a time where financial fair play didn't exist. Yeah, so they were just splashing, Chelsea splashing, splashing, splashing. Yeah. Chelsea kind of got away, have slightly got away with it because they, issue, oh, they came... Oh, when Marine, when Abramovich came... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I'm, I'm saying, no, but I'm oh, saying... Yeah, I'm talking about Chelsea yeah, when Abramovich came Yeah, yeah, There was no rules in terms of how you spend. Now there's rules about how you spend. I'm interested to see if they keep with Eddie Howe, though, and how long they... No, they got to get rid of him, man. I think they'll give him one more season. At least the start next season. I think, I think he's going this summer. I think it's you too reckon? much. I think this this might be his last season, regardless of how they do. I think like they mutual mutual. Consent, yeah, like. I think they'll move on with him. Yeah. 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 That's my opinion. That's I don't I think, think it will happen. Like I don't know if it will happen. Hundred percent. Amram could take a project like Newcastle and do something. I think Amram's going to Liverpool, man. Or do you think it's too big? Do you I think, think you can get a bigger job? So what do you think they, about they, they just clinched. So I'm going to be honest. They just clinched the title on. He's not trying to do that project. Let me get. Yeah, he's going to get his title now in because they beat Benfica on the weekend in the title decider. So he's probably going to clinch the title now, and then he's probably going to just move on. But what do you think of Amram? I don't. Mm. To be fair, I don't really know much about him because I don't really watch the Portuguese league like that. Mm. But I heard he's an attackive manager. Play this way, bro. You got, you got sport I, in I love, first. A, I love people. I, I saw that yeah. game. Yeah, yeah. You, got, you know, he got their first title in, in like in, in, over twenty mm. years. Yeah. 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 Now he's about to win another yeah. one. Now so. this season, he's young. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah, I wouldn't. I'll, Hungry I'll, young manager. That's yeah. So I'm all with it. I'm not really on. Pressure's incredible. That's why I said I was speaking to the I was like, they should get. You're not feeling the and then get a project manager. No way. I'm not feeling the Anyone that comes after Klopp now, I feel like it's this amount of pressure. It's Moyes when he came after. Yeah, it's kind of. One, thing about, one thing about Liverpool though yeah. is it'll be an easier job to take over than Fergie so? was. Yeah, because yeah, I think that you agree. look at Michael Edwards coming back, you look yeah. at the squad at his disposal. It's, I think it's it's gonna be hard. Replacing Club is gonna be very hard, yeah. but replacing Sir Alex and then also David Gill yeah. Wenger, with the older also, squad yeah. was yeah. an impossible task. Yeah, but I had mm. f- I watched the the podcast uh, the, the overlap uh, with Rio, and he was saying that how when Moyes came in, uh, or when they were saying anyway, when Moyes came to United, you know, he felt like he was a, a stepfather coming into like they, the team just lost their father know, yeah, and then yeah. he's coming in like the stepfather and he's mm. getting that sort of resentment from the squad so it could be a thing where Amaran comes the squad needs to be able to welcome him and be open to knowing that it's not going to be the same yeah. this guy's going to come with his own ideas his own way uh, of, of doing things and they have to be receptive to it otherwise if, if they're not receptive to it it could be a he's disaster. Doing, yeah, if he does yeah, come, he's though, looking at it, he's like, oh, I don't want to yeah. win do- the prem because now I'm. I want to be the man. Winning side, yeah, yeah. I've got to maintain that now. Exactly. I want to. I want to see what he does because I really like Cavalio. I want to see what he does with Cavalio and Harvey. I'll tell you one thing: he will do more than number eighteen. <laughs> he will do more oh, than number eighteen. Gakpo. He will do more than him. I promise you. He will um, do more. Cavalio. Yeah, yeah. He will do more. I like him though. Obviously, I don't really understand the reasons of why he went out to loans. I'm not too sure. But I want to much if, game time though mm. at Liverpool. I think that's why. Yeah, yeah, going, yeah. 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 If we yeah. do get Ruben, then boy. Ruben. Yeah. So uh, you like your Portuguese league guys too, huh? I love yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, my guys. Man. That's my best. I'm gonna learn Portuguese. Yeah, yeah. If we get that's him, I'm gonna learn. Ever, that's know? my best creation right yeah. there. Yeah, that was elite. Yeah, well done. Let's finish off with right behind us. That's his great. That's your greatest ever work. I need. I need him to feature in Ted Lasso. You know the. Oh yeah, yeah. We need. I would love that. I would love that. Where's cameras? Oh, I just if, you, if they can, we should Let's make him. We should yeah. make him on pro clubs. Mm? Well, we should. Uh, why? No, oh, that's a good oh, idea. God. Oh my god! He'd be better than. But then he'll play your position though. He plays at the ten. He'll play yeah. He play right wing. I'll take your position. Man. You know I'm talking to myself. You take your position. You don't take no position. Right back. <laughs> you don't take no position. Take left back on the bench. You don't take no position. Huh? I played right back, but me at right back is
Happy up, happy up, happy up. Yeah, happy up, yeah. Let's finish off with the full Newcastle game. <laughs> so, <laughs> having yeah, yeah, yeah. Newcastle have won their last five Premier League games against Fulham. <laughs> uh, we've got analysis from Thomas. He's a Fulham fan. It's a game that yeah. highlights the need for more quality to be brought in there in the summer. Definitely the better team in the first half. An overall game was even, but Newcastle just had the moments of quality in the attacking third that we didn't. Uh, FPL time, FPL. Let's see, have they updated it? I should have dated it. 73 points. Damn, you eight. Yeah, man, I had a good one. Good one. Abs Busquets is top of the league. Wow. Hey, 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 hey. Say that again and look at this. Oh, shit. Don't wait. You took over. Abs, Abs Busquets. Busquets is top of the league. The, the, highest, like, the highest place position on the, the table is the Liban. Drive, Liban's in fourth. Ooh. Well, technically, Mercer's on the table, so he's second. Liban's in fourth. Uh, Fawizi drops all the way down to seventh. That's mad. I'm eighth. That I'm, I'm mad. only 30 points behind you. Oh, wait, sorry, Lees is in fifth. Oh, we're all like, uh, you know, kind of ne near each other. Abs, Busquets is in first, bro. Who Where's let my, that happen? Why is my phone? Is that my phone? Don't that's not your phone. phone. No. Someone stole your phone? I don't know. That's deep, man. Oh, it's my pocket. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my bad. <laughs> hey, that's crazy, man. Why are you saying I've dropped? I'm, I'm, I'm dead. Bro, I ain't got the red arrow. You're seventh. I ain't got the red you're arrow. You're first. Yeah, but Murphy... You know, I've been I've been six points within Liban for the longest time this season. Bro. We've been neck and neck the whole oh. year. You've been what? Neck and neck. Oh, okay. he's so nice. He's I, just heard some guys. I just heard yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, get, well, heard get that big head of yours out of the gutter. And he wanted me to, he wanted me to oh. be like, oh, sorry. Neck now, and neck. Now, he's, he, now his head's big, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> but That's basically, nice basically, I'm, yeah. I've been six points behind you all year. We got the same amount of points. Yet oh, again. yeah, we got the same amount of points. Yeah, I don't yeah. even think our teams are oh, similar. Oh, you're six points behind me, proper. Bro, we don't even have the same team. That is mental. Man, neck yeah, and neck. Man. To be fair, would you like from first? From first, it's only fifty points. No, it's that's not. A no, lot no, no. It's still tight. Like I say, yeah, like, bro. I always say anything under hundred points, it's not a lot. I am mm. just it's oh, when it gets over hundred, that's when it starts to get a bit more distant. Yeah, but but I'm t I told this guy he was like over hundred points clear at one point. I was over hundred though. And, and at one point, and yeah. he's still looking now. He's at no, seventh. Because I always crazy, say that, bro. Man. Seven games to go. This is gonna chop and change you know how a lot. close he is to it's me now. Be mad. Wow, it's crazy. No, no, because I just gave up after. Nah, here. I don't care. You get it's gonna be wild. Um, let's also go to the SDS League, which is what you guys can join. Uh, the, the, the code is in the description below. In first, we got Emilio, mm. 4231 Gigan Press. He's got 2,081 points. Wow. We got second, we got Tyler Turkson, Teach. He, uh, he's in second. Third, Blue Doom 9. Fourth, Joe Jelly with Sterling Jewel. Five, Ferrero Jaca with, uh, by Fiontini. Six, Nkunku Kam Nkunku Kamba. And cucumber, sorry. Just mm. eat a banana. Seventh, Channel mm -hmm. 4, Majibri by Rishi, uh, Rishi Sekaran. Eight, Class on Grass FC, Adam Rugg. Nine, Lalana Del Rey. I like that one. Mm -hmm. Razor 8699. Mm -hmm. And 10, Robin My Hairline. Mm -hmm. Tom Smith. That is uh, the SDS League, which you guys can, of That's course, That's changed a lot as well, fam. Do you remember in the beginning? When you yeah, were just reading out the, the same day, names, yeah. now that's completely... Bro, there was some I'm hearing names I ain't seen before. Yeah, yeah. Mm. It's true, bro. Mm. Yeah, it's true. That's oh, it's completely changed. That's 2,081 like points. Wow, mm. fair play. Oh, they left us. <laughs> We're yeah, so far behind these, man. <laughs> they it's crazy. Us. But that's the end of the mm. Premier League roundup. We hope you guys enjoy this one. This week, there will be definitely some uh, watch-alongs for you guys to watch us on playback and on YouTube. Uh, Tuesday, we've got Arsenal buying. Wednesday, we could potentially do a dual watch-along. We On Thursday, we've got a Europa League watch-along. Um, yeah, we've got a lot, a lot of more content coming your way. You should see uh, Sharky hosting again pretty soon. I'll get I'll allow him to guest host, and we'll see you guys very soon. Goodbye.